opposition leader, all the ministers, all the members of the parliament, the time people will come, will make him walk, no saving people blue in this country. This morning, we will come to the program of the parliament, and one the day when we will get sore of the law of the because we will lose him. One blah one walk blah me pla. Papa me ask him you this morning that by you give him this bless spirit blah comfort him all hearts blah me pla. All family blah and all people blah goilala. Na central province time me blah stop blah this la period long sorry. Papa God this morning told me pray la you long other parts of the world all same Ukraine today. People are bagger up Iximol. Papa, you yet you have a reason why. But also, me people are mine, or place ground, me people are looking, me people are sorry. Me people are not sorry, Lord, when I'm house long end, but you yet you have a. Papa, please. Lord, time, Lord, heavy, long all. You think him all now, you help him all. Papa, now as Bobby Black go through the program, Lord, me people are. Me people are asking him that by you stop on them, me people are. And me plan now like all this love pray where you yes you yet you sukulim all disciples blow you na me plan and by me plan all katai kanim on them our father who are in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done by Jesus name give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us Honorable members, I wish to inform Parliament that the poll bearers carrying the casket of late Honorable William Sam, MP, will be admitted into the chamber. With concurrence of the Parliament, they will be admitted into the chamber. The question is that the motion be agreed to. Those in favor say aye. Aye. The ayes have it.
All bearers admit the casket.
Honourable Prime Minister. Uh, Mr. Speaker, I move that this Parliament expresses its deep regret of the death of on the 3rd of March 2022 of Mr. William Sam, uh, Member of Parliament, the Member for Guelala Open Electorate, and a Minister of State uh, who was serving in his capacity as Minister for Commerce and Industry, and places on record uh, Parliament's appreciation for his meritorious public service, and we tender mm -hmm. our profound sympathy to his family in their bereavement. <clears throat> Mr. Speaker, I firstly would like to thank you for allowing this parliament to convene in this manner. <clears throat> I secondly would like to thank all members of parliament from the government side and the opposite side to come in this day to pay respect and tribute to our colleague who is lying in state. I take this opportunity to formally pay tribute to the life of the late Minister of State and Member for Guelala, the Honorable William Samp, as we remember him in this moment when he lies in state. Let me first begin by acknowledging his family, his three children, Elliot Confidence, and his two older siblings, his wife, his dear mother, who is alive as we speak, <clears throat> his family, his, and the people of Goelala and Central Province for giving to Papua New Guinea a stalwart politician, a very fine leader who has helped to raise hope in the midst of doom and gloom, 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 and whose character is embodied in the visions of good governance and honesty for leadership in our country. In a time when political leadership was being questioned by our people on, my, on many levels, the Honorable William Samp arrived on the political scene in 2015 as the first solo Pangu member to be uh, to win in, a, in an election in recent years under the leadership of now our, uh, my colleague, uh, the Honorable Sam Basil, who was then leader of Pangu Party as they resurrected the historic pioneer and first and foundation party of our nation that delivered our country's political independence. The late leader arrived at the time when Pangu Party was coming back to life. Today I am privileged to have associated myself with him, not just as his parliamentary leader, but more importantly, as a colleague. For some belong to the new generation of leaders who emerged to put the interest of our country first. <clears throat> to take it back from the wrong roads we have traveled in recent years and to put it right back on the road where corruption was few, where fighting for our natural resources was greater, taking back more from our own country's revenue to funnel it to developments in all part of our country was his ideals, including his remote Goelala, and to ensure our people were empowered through SME programs that we have started for he was part of the new brand of leadership that emerged, who knew no apologies in their vocabulary as they spoke about corruption, taking back Papua New Guinea from the hands of greed and the minority few who wanted to get ahead at the expense of the rest of our country, including places like Walala. 
some fend the hope, the flame of hope. He encouraged steadfastness, Mr. Speaker, in good governance and honest leadership, and to do more, and to do better, and to hold our country to high standards and great ideals. He, the short seven years or so he was a member of parliament, he lived life of truly a character that we must also emulate, someone who put the interest of country ahead of self and ahead of self-preservation. It was through him and those like him and with, with their courage and drive we moved numbers to change the past government, and we maintained government in this current government in three hard years. COVID-19 induced economic hardships. Political maneuvering induced lack of public service performance and functionality, for we had two moments in this time of parliament where shifting sands were the order of the day in as far as politics were concerned. And he also was instrumental in passing monumental laws that would have changed the landscape of our country for the better. None can be more amplified than him being instrumental in assisting me in delivering laws like the Independent Commission Against Corruption Act and the Whistleblowers Act. And I thank uh, my colleague now sitting in the opposite, the Honorable David Stephen, also being instrumental in making sure uh, and these are part of the new generation of leaders who stood firm in trying to get laws that is good for the country going forward. All this coincided with Minister Samp's placement as my assistant as we ran Pangu Party and handled government matters over the last three years since the change of government in 2019. In so many ways, Mr. Speaker, he was my right-hand man. Who would have thought a brother from Guelala could have assisted a brother from Tari? For we were seen amongst the least in this country. <coughs> he was my right-hand man trying our very best to make changes to the better men of our country. He didn't see me as a Tari man. He didn't see me as a Highlands man. He was truly a Pangu Party idealist, a party that stands for Papua and New Guinea united. At a time when in this parliament we saw sentiments of Papua for Papua, we saw sentiments of Highlands for Highlands, we saw sentiments for New Guinea for New Guinea, well, we saw, saw regional fragmentalism in our political divides. Samp was a true Pangu Party idealist standing up through the ideals of the party, Papua and New Guinea united, leadership and on merits, and leadership performed to unite our country, some put country ahead of himself. There can be no greater example than his last official visit domestically, where he visited the autonomous region of Bougainville, and he was, Mr. Speaker, handing over two million kina worth of missionary to our lovely people of North Bougainville. And he made a profound statement that goes like this. Benefit North Bougainville people you will get, but blessing Golala will receive. To me, that underlines the DNA that ran deep in who the leader the Honorable William Sump was. The true Christian principle of putting others first and he last. Putting another district first and his district last. For as a national leader, he rose to see Bougainvilleans were his own, putting them first and Golala behind. He defined important principle. He differentiated between blessing and benefit. <coughs> and at this juncture, let me... Uh, Inform the people of Guelala. William in person may have passed on to rest, but there are many brothers of William remain in this parliament, shown by both sides of the house coming to pay respect 
sown by the house cries. Unprecedented house cry. We've had house cries for leaders who, and we know Grand Chief and others we held, but for a minister of state, uh, this sort of house cry was not held, but to the Goelalas in the corners of Port Mosby City and NCD and in Central and throughout this country and up in the mountains of Central Province. You're not least, you're not forgotten, you're not second class. This is your country as much as it's my country. You are amongst us. William may have now gone to rest, but a bridge is built to show Golalas can perform at a higher level, if not higher than most. It's something that we will value for the rest of our life, and that bridge will be still active to ensure we not just deliver benefit to the people of Guelala, but more importantly, bring blessing to the people of Guelala. Uh, may his memory for the zeal in his fight against corruption and some of the ve core values and principles he believed in, especially putting people first, a uh, fine warrior from the mountains of Guelala in his effort to defend his our country's right may remain to those of us who are alive and believe that these destinations of reaching a better destination for our people in as far as development is concerned uh, can be continued for those of us who still uh, remain alive. And I just want to conclude by saying thank you very much to the Golala people for giving a fine leader to this country. Short seven years but he has left an indelible mark and imprint, more so to the next generation of leaders coming through this parliament, that you may remain true to your calling, putting country first and yourself last, spreading the wealth of our country throughout all parts of our country. William did so well, and I just want to say thank you to Guelala for giving a fine leader to us. I want to say thank you to the family, especially the mother, for allowing his son to be a public servant, and to the family and people of Guelala and the children, uh, for those of us who call William our <laughs> brother and friend, we will stand with you all the way through these dark moments, and for Guelala to continue getting blessings that William did prophesy. Mr. Speaker, on a personal note, I just want to say, Brother William, some here in my book will receive a word in my book, we'll just have a word of reference to them. Some will have a sentences of reference to them. Some will have a paragraph of reference to them. But in my book, William, you will have a full chapter of reference. You will have a full chapter of reference. I know you close your eyes, praying to God in case some of you do not know. In the private moments we are together, he does offer beautiful prayers. And in the final moments, as you were fading into the final breath of your life, you would have said your last prayer. And so I say, till we meet again, William, may God bless your soul that is resting. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Honorable Opposition Leader. Thank you, uh, Mr. Speaker. I would like to Second, the motion moved by the Prime Minister in paying uh, our condolences to our late brother, Minister, and Honorable Member for Goilala, Honorable William Sam, late Honorable William Sam. Mr. Speaker, Late Honorable William Sam, I would describe him as a member, for, member of parliament who is a friend to all and enemy to none. He didn't care which side of the House of Parliament he stood. I would see him every time in the corridors of parliament and outside in the car park of the House of Parliament with always smiles on his face. And I would still recall that smile on his, on his face. 
he would stand outside and joke with almost every member of parliament, regardless of which side of the house we stand. The last time I spoke to him was the day before he left for Dubai. And I met him outside of parliament. as usual, with that innocent smile on his face. Mr. Speaker, this term of parliament has been unprecedented. We have lost almost six sitting members of parliament, or seven sitting members of parliament. It tells us one thing, Mr. Speaker. Death has no respect for position. Death has no respect for status. Death comes like a thief in the night. Mr. Speaker, I want to thank yourself and the Prime Minister and the government of the day for always according every member of parliament in this term of parliament we have passed on the greatest of respect. Credit must be given where it's due. And I want to thank you also, uh, Mr. Speaker, for ensuring that the families most important, the families who are left behind are taken care of. I want to thank the Prime Minister and his government to ensuring that the innocent families are well taken care of. Mr. Speaker, this fine member of parliament Koilala has produced, the people of Central Province have produced. And I said it on Tuesday. He, is, he was the performing member of parliament. Koilala was eventually seeing development into that district. He gave all he could as the member. And he had dreams and aspirations to ensure that Golala would change to be one of the fastest developing districts in the country with whatever resources that he had. Mr. Speaker, He has made some reforms in every ministry that he had the opportunity to hold. And he discharged his duties without fear or favor. I know him personally because I always have time to interact with him and joke with him. Mr. Speaker, It will be a great loss to his family, to his people of Goilala, to Central Province, to Pangu Party, which the Prime Minister leads, and to the country. I wish to take this opportunity for and and on behalf of my family, my beautiful people of Vanimo Green River, and the members of parliament in the opposition which I represent, to wish his family, or to convey my sincere condolences to his family, to the people of Goilala, 
to the people of Central Province, to Pangu Party, and to his ministerial staff, whom he has left behind, and also to the Prime Minister and the government that he leads. May his soul rest in eternal peace. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Honorable Deputy Prime Minister. Thank you. <clears throat> Thank you, Mr. Speaker. <clears throat> I'd like to join the Prime Minister and the opposition leader to say a little bit from my heart, from my family, from my people of Bulolo, people of Morobe. I'd like to take this opportunity to also say a little. Mr. Speaker, in 2014, going 2015, I met this man, Honorable William Sam, in my office in Korobosea. There was a by-election in Goilala electorate. He approached me and showed his interest. Little did I know that he possesses great strength and wisdom that he has become. Mr. Speaker, he was the first member to win under the Pangu Party that I and him helped resurrect it. Mr. Speaker, we walked through a very hard time in 2017 national general elections when the Pangu executives field candidate against me and him as well, and other candidates as we put. We hold hands and we went through this tough time, but we came out victorious, victorious in, in getting more numbers than we anticipated. We worked very hard. Mr. Speaker, when we entered the parliament after the elections, we found ourselves in the opposition. I made a bold move to move the Pangu into government. Some members of Pangu were not happy and they left. I know that Honorable William Samp came with a very deep heart, plus other members of Pangu. I take this opportunity to say sorry to him and others who may think that it was a wrong move that time. But Mr. Speaker, I knew that I made the right move because if we would have kept Pangu in the opposition, we would have been shredded into pieces. Look at what it is today. Pangu has led and we are sitting next to the Prime Minister. The move we made was right. But again, I say sorry to all, including Honorable William Sam, who lies before us, of what move I made. If I have done wrong, me talk sorry today. Mr. Speaker, we have walked the mountains of Kumunga to Yongai in the Sirima Valley. We have slept in the Ausman on the Onage and wait up LLG on the hammocks. We have seen the fine potatoes plantation up in Fane and the hundred year old table of the missionaries of the Catholic mission up in Fane. But Mr. Speaker, he has left us with a dream and that dream I share because my district shared the same dream. The dream was to continue the road from Rupila up to from Kunimaipa, up the mountain range to Kataipa and down to Kasangare, which is a missing link of 60, 65 kilometers that will link Papua and New Guinea. This road, Mr. Speaker, I believe that William Sam has left it to us connect, under the Connect PNG program. He has left this to us that I will make sure and ensure in my life and political career, I will make sure that his dream of connecting Kataipa, Apawari and Rupila, Kunimaipa must be, must be done. And I will ensure that I will be an advocate of that road to make sure that it happens. Mr. Speaker, the, the, the closest time that I had with him was the by-election of uh, Samurai Murua. And we were in a boat for one week, one whole week. We slept, we, we ate together, and we woke up 
and we were moving around on the same boat in one week from Mishima to Woodlock to Rosal to Sudest to Nimoa to Samurai to Pato and back to Alatau. Mr. Mr. Speaker, we, we spent a good time that time, and I believe that time Honorable Rainbow Paita wasn't a member of parliament, but he was with us that time, and he knows what, I'm, what I meant. Mr. Speaker, today we are here to mourn the loss of our brother and the Honorable Member for Goilala. Mr. Speaker, the day that we went for the by-election, the former member left Golaila in the same manner. And I never knew, we never knew that today we will be here losing our brother before the next general election. But Mr. Speaker, I join my colleagues on this floor, my people of Bulolo and my family, my people of na ting ting, na toksori golo family, toksori golo people of Goilala, and I want to assure them that whatever William Sambas left, we will pick it up from there and we will make sure that we will deliver those. Once again, God bless the family, God bless his soul, and the people of Goilala. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Honorable Member for Abba. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. On behalf of my family and the people of Abba, we offer our deepest condolences to the immediate family, the wife and the three children, the mother and the late Honorable William Sam's siblings, his tribe and the people of Goilala. To me, the late Honorable William Sam was very well educated very committed, down-to-earth, practical, and people's leader. Brought up in the tough terrains of Goilala, with his caring mother, who I believe is alive today. The Honorable William Sam achieved one of the rarest things that many young Goilalas do not achieve, and that is a degree. He achieved a degree in civil aviation. I mention this because I believe that it was that caring mother and his education that made him a leader that I came to know and that I will continue to admire, for which I pay tribute today. Been in Parliament for 20 years myself. I want to say thank you to the former Prime Minister, the Honorable Peter O'Neill, and the now Prime Minister, the Honorable James Marape, for recognizing the Honorable William Sam and appointing him as Minister of State. Because for 20 years in my parliamentary term, there was never a member from Goilala who achieved the status as Minister of State. And so I say thank you to the current Prime Minister and the former Prime Minister. I was his predecessor as the Minister for Bougainville Affairs. I want to acknowledge the enormous contribution that the Honorable William Sam, when he was appointed to be minister responsible, to prepare Bougainville for the final leg under the peace agreement for referendum. I guess because he was a civil engineer, he was immediately on the ground, a manlo ground. Like all civil engineers, they have to check which way the work is done, etc., etc. And so immediately he flew over to Bougainville upon his appointment. And he traversed the entire Bougainville region. And the important contribution that he laid for me was 
he connected the many, many factions in Bougainville, as you and I know. There are many factions in Bougainville with many, many leaders. And so when the Honorable William Sam was appointed, his ability, and because he was a people's man, his ability to be on the ground, his ability to uh, easily communicate and connect people, to me was the strong foundation that he set. And immediately when I was appointed as minister, when I went on the ground a week after my appointment, the foundation had already been laid. And so I say thank you to Honorable William Sam for the leader that he was and his upbringing and his ability to connect people, his ability to chill boy with the people, his ability to sleep wherever in the streams or out in the sea or wherever. He didn't care the way he dressed or the way he talked. He was definitely the people's leader. And so in paying this tribute, I say thank you to the Honorable William Sam for his enormous contribution. It was definitely in my time a national contribution by this young leader in preparing Bougainville for the referendum and all of us know how successful Bougainville referendum was. So thank you, Bada Heria, Jiraba Ese, Yehana Mamu, Family Bounai, Umuyemui Taitai, Umuyemui Hisisibe, Ai Bounai, Edam Maduna. I want to say thank you particularly to Prime Minister and the Pangu Party for according our leader the respect and the most honorable way in which the funeral arrangements have been arranged. And I thank you, Mr. Speaker, for the usual way that we are now allowing the leaders to pay tribute. I guess one lesson I as a leader have learned in the way the Pangu leader has made the arrangements for the funeral arrangements is that I believe is part of what I call building some of these very important state institutions called political parties. I think it is a very good culture. I think we need strong party, party institutions and the way the respect and the, the honorable way in which a member of the Pangu Party has told what in this modern era of Pangu Party through the member for the uh, Goilala, Goilala is very respectable and very honorable. And I, I, I hope and pray that into the future, we all collectively move to building important institutions, but more importantly, Mr. Speaker, the right cultural orientations of parties as we develop and as, as a young democracy, we move in, in our development path. On that note, thank you, Bada Heria. May your soul rest in God's eternal peace. Honorable Minister of Health. Mr. Speaker, I speak today on, my, on behalf of my family and my people of Gazelle in East New Britain. Today is a sad moment for Papua New Guinea, especially for our people of Guelala in Central Province as we mourn the passing of a giant of a man, the late Honorable William Sam. He was a man of integrity and patriotism who now stands amongst the fallen leaders we hold in high regard and to which we measure our own commitment to our calling. To my brother William, my heart beats at a somber pace as I come to terms with your passing in a faraway land. But at least now you are home. My mind is on constant replay of the now treasured memories we have shared in the service of our people. Your larger than life personality made you a man of stature. Your patriotism stood tall in heated words of debate. And most of all, your love of family and the brotherhood shone far brighter than ever. These are only words, brother. As to see you, 
and talk to you is what I long for. I long for those unfinished conversations I would like to bring to a natural conclusion. But most of all, I long to fight alongside you in our quest for a better Papua New Guinea. This is what I will miss the most. Mr. Speaker, there is a saying, never judge a person on physical stature. We must judge a person for the courage with which he fights for his country and the person who carries the heart of his people because that is the man that stands tall on any given day. On behalf of my family and the people of Gazelle, I offer my heartfelt condolences to, you, to the family of the late William Sam. Rest in eternal peace, my brother. You were a great warrior and leader of recent times. Honorable Governor Isibik. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. I too rise to join my fellow leaders in recognizing the service of the late Honorable William Sam. I wish on behalf of the Sipik people to extend our deepest condolences to his people of Goilala, the people of Central Province, and his family. Uh, William had a great sense of humor, Mr. Speaker, and uh, at risk of stealing the thunder from my brother, the governor for Oro, he had a way of making jokes that would bring people together. And I recall on our study tour to the United States <clears throat> about two and a half years ago, he would always walk in front of myself and Governor Jufa, and he would tell the Americans that these two are my bodyguards. And we did not know that he was doing that until at one particular function, some of the servants came uh, to offer us uh, uh, drinks and said, look, uh, we know you're looking after the, the minister, but he said we should look after his bodyguards as well. And so it became a joke amongst us. And, and that, was, that was the kind of man William Sam was. He, he didn't worry about titles. He was always uh, a good man. And he tried to make everyone feel at peace. The second thing was that he was fearless, Mr. Speaker. Many times, a lot of people outside this house don't recognize the difficulties we have as members of parliament when we have different political parties, we have different political interests, and we all come together in a coalition government. And when something is not working right within government caucus, those of us from smaller parties, we discuss amongst ourselves and we have a hard time raising the issue. But Pangu Party was fortunate that it had William Sam, because William Sam would raise the issue. He would be the first one to sound the alarm bells on a corrupt or funny arrangement that was going on. And I think, speaking from the National Alliance standpoint, that made it easy for us to also make a case. And that's something that we are going to miss. And I wanted to acknowledge that. All big political parties need an internal voice that should act as their conscience. And I think William Sam was the conscience for the Pangu Party. And you will miss that. He had a sense of service that went beyond his own district of Goilala. <clears throat> and I stand particularly to speak on that note. And on behalf of the East Sipik and the West Sipik people, we are indeed grateful. And my party leader, the Honorable Patrick Proites, has asked me to make this representation also on his behalf. About 11 months ago, I received a call from the Honorable William Sam 
He was transport minister at the time. And he rang constantly, which is again typical of the late William Sam. He will not give up until he speaks to you. And he said, Governor, I need to see you. There is something I need your help on. I think that was the first time I ever got a phone call from a minister asking for my help. So I fronted up at his office, which is uh, uh, somewhere up at the airport. That was my first time to ever go to that particular office. And he informed me that his department was working on some wharves for West Epic and for East Epic, and he needed our help. I picked up the phone and called my brother governor, the Honorable Tony Wowo. We got together, we put together a team of highly qualified CPICs, and we worked with him to realize that dream. He said one thing to me which I thought was important, and I want the Hansard to show that William Sam, the late Honorable, the then Minister for Transport, was really keen to put in two large ports in the northern half of Papua New Guinea. And he said to me, he said, this is really strategic. Papua New Guinea needs the two CPICs to really contribute to nation building, particularly in the economy. And he recognized our potential. So for some 10 months, we worked with him to put together the documentation he asked me to intervene and speak to the Prime Minister and the Treasurer, which I did, and to other members of Cabinet. And after three attempts, he got the approval. I am saddened that he will not be here to watch the launch of something he worked so hard and so passionately for. As he lies in state here, our partners from the Republic of Korea are today in East Sipik negotiating with the administration and the landowners to do the work that he so passionately fought for on our behalf for East and West Sipik. To the people of Goilala, on behalf of the people of Sipik, on behalf of my family, it is indeed my honor to thank you all for a son who had a great vision, not just for his own people, but for those of us from other parts of the country. And so, in expressing my sorrow, I also extend my gratitude to his people, to his family, and to say thank you, and to say that when, we, when the Prime Minister comes to make the groundbreaking, I will inform the people of Isipik of the work that you have done for us, my brother, Honorable William Sam. Your legacy will live on in the two Sipik provinces. We will not forget you. We thank you. May your soul rest in peace. Honourable Member Blo Asala. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. On this sad occasion, I rise to join honourable leaders in expressing sympathies and our sincere condolences to the people of Goilala Central Province, to our people, honourable leaders in this honourable house and of course to the family of the late leader. Mr. Speaker, today I have the privilege to speak on behalf of the People's National Congress Party. Our leader, the Honorable Peter O'Neill, former Prime Minister, a member for Yelibu Pangia, and the other members of parliament on this side of the house and the people we represent nationwide. I speak with sorrow and sadness as a colleague of the leader who lays before us today. 
Mr. Speaker, our people send us here not knowing the difficulty of the task we face as national leaders. When we join 11, 111 other leaders from constituencies throughout our country to work together, to debate, interact for the well-being of our people, for our national interest. And little do our people know the level of interaction that eventually turns into friendship. Friendships that are built between leaders, as we have seen and heard this morning from the other speakers. And in this sad occasion, Mr. Speaker, we remember the late leader of the Goilala people with vivid memories. Some of us have known him personally, as, as other leaders have expressed. And we can say that he was a, a friend, a true friend. And Mr. Speaker, I personally wish on this occasion, knowing that the leader would be witnessing from where he is today, and with your permission, to say that there was a secret between the late leader and myself and few others on both sides of this house. And this is how we, ch we shared boy at the car park. And oftentimes, just making sure that we were not noticed. But just to quickly endorse our friendships and to remind one another that no matter the side of the house we sit, we are a group of leaders with many voices but one message. And that's the message of our nation and its advancement. I recall the Honorable Leader as a leader that was sent in haste, as the Deputy Prime Minister has said, after a by-election, following <clears throat> another death, unfortunate death of uh, his predecessor, who had lost his life while serving in his capacity as member for Goilala. And the first, one of the first things that the leader, the late leader, expressed which I wish to place on record, is his this, this, this determination to connect his electorate of Goilala to Central Province and to the rest of Papua New Guinea. I recall sitting on that side of the house because we were in government then, and the late leader was a, a member of the opposition who sat on this side. But now the current Prime Minister and myself under the Prime Ministership of uh, the member for Yalibu Pangia, were responsible for civil aviation. And I recall the passion with which the Honorable Late Leader pursued the reopening of rural airstrips in his electorate. Yes, as an engineer, he had a plan for roads or road infrastructure, which we will see in due course come to fruition. But he came to us and he expressed passion about the reconnection of rural airstrips in his area. In those um, brief encounters and many others that followed, I found in um, the late leader the hallmarks of leadership. In the words, Mr. Speaker of a Chinese philosopher, Fu Chen Yuan. You can find three essential essentials to leadership. First, humility. Second, clarity of vision. And third, courage. I was reminded, Mr. Speaker, by the former Prime Minister, that the late leader was outstanding in his performance as Minister for Bougainville Affairs. I am happy that the Honorable Sepu Katemu has commended the late leader for that effort. Yes, he was, he came in as an ordinary member of parliament. He was recognized and promoted as a senior member of the, uh, the PNC-led government at the time and performed extremely well. He made it so easy, easier for us 
as a government to advance the Bougainville peace process to where it is now as uh, undertaken by the current government. And I'm, I'm, I'm very grateful that the current Prime Minister has recognized the leadership of our late brother, the fallen leader, and has continued to entrust him with senior ministries. Because, Mr. Speaker, today we farewell a very senior leader, a very senior leader of our country, senior leader of the Papuan people, the Golala people, and the Central people. May that, be, may that come as some degree of comfort to those who are bereaved and many of us today. Yes, Pangu has lost a strong man. We too in PNC have felt the pain of the loss of one of our own comrades. The Honorable the Member for Central Bougainville, the late Sam Akoitai, again lost in this term of parliament in the recent past. It is difficult for all of us. When one morning we wake up to the news of the passing of a friend, a colleague, who only a few days ago we may have chatted with, we may have shared some concerns with, we feel the loss on both sides of this house. And the nation's records will show, Mr. Speaker, that this passing of the Honorable, the late Honorable the member for Goelala, will bring the numbers of leaders who have passed to an unprecedented, or unprecedented number. It raises the question, a national question, a national issue of how we take care of our leaders. Perhaps it's an individual challenge as to how we manage our health, but how much are we doing in terms of, in terms of supporting the office of the speaker and the clerk in looking after the welfare and well-being of leaders who are sent to this honorable house to serve our people and our nation. Mr. Speaker, I wish to close by reminding us of the words of a chaplain, a pastor, a chaplain of the armed forces who were sent to the battlefront by the U.S. government. Because these words aptly describe many of the leaders who have gone before, including the one who lays before us. And, he, and I quote, no person can be a great leader unless he takes genuine joy in the success of those under him and those he serves. I repeat, no person can be a great leader unless he takes genuine joy in the success of those under him and those he serves. I want to place on the record, on behalf of those I speak for, that the late honorable leader from Fogwelala has served as a great leader because he has demonstrated a genuine joy in all that he's done both here in this house, his performance as a minister, as a colleague, a genuine joy for the welfare, the success, and the progress of the Goilala people in our nation. So, Mr. Speaker, on behalf of everyone I speak for, including the PNC party and the people I represent and we represent, May the good Lord grant peace and comfort in these times of sorrow and bereavement. Thank you. Honorable uh, Member of Long, Tewa Isiasi. Thank you, uh, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, me too long. Can I join the queue? I want to join the queue. I want to join the queue. Long Salim talk sorry blow me. What the people blow me. Mr. Speaker, Long Maki, all immediate family blow me. All people blow Tewa Shiasi. All graduates blow 89. 
the 90, Sugeri. The Pong Party, for who has the support of the MSC, Morabe, the PLD, or Gata. Mr. Speaker, may I am Salong uh, William, Sam, but Mr. Colin Willie, since 89, I'm close to 33 years now. My last stop, school one and a half time. Some something where me lining the school plus that one time. There's no difference. It was the one kind yet. I must say, the passing on the talk talk. I'm not man to talk plenty. Talk little little task on the action task on. But it's all talk talk plan and plenty all joke. But it's all joke. I'm good at talk talk check on side. Now, Mr. Speaker, we can take him long. One plus five long. All senior long plus time to eighty nine. Now, I'm joining the team more and black come down long. God and spark side long, food well, yeah? And then, I smart in black come, it was afternoon black come down. And then, I'm going to talk, sorry, I'm going to talk a little here. I'm going to see somebody like hot club, yeah, come. Also, hot stuff before. Come now, I'm black when it was late night. And I'm talking. I'm black, 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 I'm People are big, so you know, Spagada, working really big, so people are hard stuff in Spagada. So, we're not losing to the slime. It could be. So, every time, maybe kiss him beer, I'll say, now, give me some one plus cause for that one, could be that. And uh, I could be blamed for that, but it was some 33 years ago. Anyway, Mr. Speaker, William Sam. Time la pini sam go back lo angulo unit tak mikal mo yalo main campus mista bino bungo em tu long plat time bino sa long tu do sam go nem go lo wan walk lo engineer civil engineering walk run run go na when i was in lay in enga hospital there was a all go walk him put the call tal long have road long run about ne go long enga junction hon gap now look big plat dust through na hospital mista lo front lap me come out me to usat lo big plat dust na me looking out engineer la happy na engineer plat sot long yalo ba cap he was playing with song clip. Now, me wait till you come now. Me think now, I'm not going to M. William Sam now. So, me not talk about him to our brother. Continue to walk. So, that's something I me. Mean, you know, got mobile phone, but I'm just getting mobile phone, the silent play it. And now, people I meet a couple of times, like, not the most people one time, until I me win him. I me walk on to some bus, like, him. See, it's going on now. Interest, look, me too, it's like, now, me connect through long M2. Lo join him. So here we are. But long, Prince Mogadam, we must confirm him. Talk to the Prime Minister, we talk talk now. Long, last walk about long M. About a month ago, the Bougainville. Mr. Bantam, the slab about me to play go, the North Bougainville. We should be like that long, Honorable Will Nakin. Now, yes, I'm giving my sin, let me talk. Bougainville, you kiss him, you kiss him. On my side, mixing give me and by benefit long end, but me go all back some blessing long end. Now this line, me confirm this. I talk to where me at this time on them long end. The one of this line, people are talk sorry, blow me blow other people, blow me let them share sin no. Or pang sabra sul morobe, me took some time to acknowledge him. Or talk sorry, lo arap lo pangu, lead us blow me lo morobe. Usa di lose him life this line, time lo parliament. If so late, jury na law, late boy musali. Uh, Grand Chief Loimi, Sir Michael Sumare, let's attempt the Parliament. Um, Sir Peter Luz, and now Nubla Brit Lopangu, also Master uh, President Lopangu Party Talk, and one Black Brit, now i parliamentary wing. One time, long non parliamentary wing, and we go down. Now, that's like Brit, we believe on Nubla General Assembly Party, stop here, I'm try him long, made him this law. Now, on behalf of a legal group, I'm not yet. Where does the government like come up? I'm not yet too instant to break the legal. Awesome. Nobody prime minister talk. Being a split come up in the lab come. I'm not instant too like split come up. I'm not yet. Now because William Sam is talking me, brother, Mr. Speaker, let me talk. I'm not going to move hard up until you play. I'm not house to sleep. Because now I'm sitting in the house long. Different from the same basil or corrupt here. Now I'm talking. I'm just trying to worry about no car. I'm not going to back no move past then. So I'm not going to leave, but anyway, after all, 
We are the one again at the end. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Let him have time. Let me let him. Let him talk to me. Thank you. Honorable Minister of Ground. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Me too, Sana. I offer him condolences, Blumi. On behalf of the people of Leh, my family, myself, me let talk big pasora through Golo, family blow, late William Sam, Lo Mary Blum, Pigny Blum, all family, Mama Blum, all people blow Goilala, people blow Central, now got a line, one talk Blum. PNG has lost a staunch person. As many have said before, for a person small in stature, he had a big, fearless heart. Myself, I, know, I knew Willie for a long time as a good honorable member for TYC, as he said. I knew Willie when I was a young man. He was a young engineer. Now, I've known him for about nearly 30 years, too. He was a project manager at Shoncliffe in Leigh, and I was his subcontractor. So he used to hire my trucks while we were working. And we developed a staunch relationship, not knowing that one day we would all end up in parliament together. His character and everything is, like everyone said, is a different person. He's not your person that you would think would be like someone from Goilala. He was a totally different, different person. He brought out the best in everyone. But the biggest things that he also brought out was integrity, loyalty, and no nonsense. Bloody time, me bless you down, in Pangu caucus, in NEC, or in government caucus, as a good honorable Governor Bird said, Willie was the one who spoke what was in everyone's head. Talk talk where you mean by Pili Madlo talk talk lem. Willie and Mopim not trauma. I'm sorry, talk. How you play catch him, you play catch him, not scare him. I'm talk with him. He was a fearless nationalistic person and a very strong Pangu stalwart. He lived for the party. He's a very close friend. I, for one, will miss him. And I know that every one of us in this room, all of us, from both sides of the house, in one way or another, he has touched our hearts. So, I'm talk big player. Talk sorry. Barata, look at you, Lord. Now, the side look around. Thank you. Honorable Member Blabau. I'm sorry, Alatau. Mr. Speaker, I too also rise on behalf of my people uh, of Alatau, not to repeat what everyone has said, but to pay my part in uh, paying respects to a great leader uh, that has passed on. And Mr. Speaker, it's always difficult when someone like this passes on who is very much in the prime of his life and has got so much uh, more still to offer. And we, in such times, we ask ourselves the reasoning why God moves in such ways. God has his own timing uh, and his own reasoning behind that. But we are so saddened, particularly when we think about all the potential left in this great leader, all the things in the future that we know were still yet to come and to be achieved, all his hopes and dreams for the people of Guelala and even of Papua New Guinea. And that's what makes it so sad in losing such a leader with our potential. Mr. Speaker, as the member for Asala alluded to, uh, this, this term of parliament has been very sad in the sense that we have lost so many leaders and that leadership capacity that has been lost to the country through seven uh, leaders that have been lost uh, to us, not the least of which now is uh, Honorable William Sam. And so as colleagues, uh, as, a, as a parliament, uh, as a country, we reflect upon that and we reflect upon God's reasoning for such things, but in particular today we, we pay respects to this great leader, and we know that God has his reasoning. Mr. Speaker, on behalf of uh, my family and my people, to the people of uh, Golala, uh, we mourn with you, we grieve with you, we see the outpouring of the respect for this leader, especially from his people. And we are touched knowing that uh, they, they have lost someone they care and love so deeply about. And because he had a uh, vision 
and he had all the hopes and he was performing such good work for the people of Guelala. And so we are his colleagues, we are saddened, we are hurt, and when we see this, the sadness of his people, it just magnifies that sadness, uh, Mr. Speaker. So all of us mark uh, this day uh, in respect of this, uh, this great leader, and we pay our respects to him and also to the, uh, the Pangu party, recognizing what the Prime Minister has said about the good work this man has done. Mr. Speaker, I also want to take the opportunity to recognize another leader that has passed on uh, last uh, previous Sunday on the 6th of March in uh, Gerard Biona from Kirawina, and he's the former three times member of parliament uh, representing the people of Kirawina in various capacities, including Minister of Health and Minister for Tourism. So he's also added to the, uh, the sadness on this uh, occasion, uh, apart from the other leaders that have passed on, particularly in this term of parliament. Uh, Mr. Speaker, it is a sad day indeed for, for us, the people of Guelala and the people of Papua New Guinea. Thank you. Honorable uh, <coughs> State and the Price. Um, <coughs> thank you, Mr. Speaker. On behalf of the people I represent, uh, the people of Argen, uh, my family and, of course, uh, the members of the uh, party that I lead, I'd like to uh, express our heartfelt condolences to uh, the mother and the wife and the, <clears throat> and the children of the late uh, Honorable William Samp. And of course, I also want to uh, express our condolences to our Prime Minister, the leader of Panko Party and the members for the sudden loss of another very important, very important members. Um, Mr. Speaker, this son of Papua, a member for Gulala, Gulala and so unfortunately left us while he was on duty, serving the country that he loved so much, not here in Papua New Guinea, but in a faraway land. He also left us, Mr. Speaker, <coughs> when the rest of us, like him, were preparing to face our voters, when he was on the verge of going back to his people and asking them for the honor and privilege of representing them again. So when leaders like that leave us, Mr. Speaker, one tends to ask why. But of course, as we know, Mr. Speaker, God gives and God takes. <clears throat> Mr. Speaker, we all come here to serve our people and we all come here with honorable intentions to serve them very well to the best of our abilities. And this gentleman who's left us was a performing minister in the true sense of the word. When he was a minister for Bowen Affairs, he gave his heart and soul to serving in that capacity. And he was genuine when he dealt with the people of Bougainville. When he then became the minister for transport and infrastructure, he did the same. And finally, when he was minister for commerce, he also tried his best during the limited time that was given to him to push forward. He must talk about SME empowerment of our people. So. Mr. Speaker, he was one hell of a leader who has certainly left us. I first got to know him when I, at a closer range, when I met our Prime Minister with him at the house of our <coughs> Governor for Western Britain. When we talked about forming the next government, this government which we are all serving under, and I realized that despite his short stature, like myself, he was mentally tough. He was a determined person. And he was very loyal to our Prime Minister and the Panga Party and the government. And Mr. Speaker, even when we faced a lot of challenges, even at the Lolwada camp, again, he was the person most of the younger members of the coalition government looked upon. He was rock steady, cool, calm, and collected. And a person who was, as I said earlier, mentally tough. I had my own occasions when I joked with him occasionally. And because of his, our short stature, <coughs> I used to call him Giant Logolala, Galala. And, we, and he would call me Giant Lola again. And on some occasions, he accused me of stealing his name. We called each other name. 
He accused me of stealing his name, and I said no. I think I was born earlier than you, so I think you were the one who stole my name. You should go and mobilize the people of Gualala to compensate me. So all our jokes went on and on, but Mr. Speaker, he was a special person. And during my years of serving this parliament for the last 19 years, he's the best leader to come out of Gualala. <clears throat> and I really feel for the people of Gualala, particularly his immediate family and his diet supporters who worked very, very hard to ensure that he came to this parliament to represent them. And I don't think he ever let his people down. I do not think he let these people of Galata down in that sense of the word. He worked very, very hard and he was different. And despite his stature, physical stature, he was a giant of a man. <clears throat> and I realized that it will be very, very difficult for the people of Galala to work very hard again to produce and bring a leader like him to this parliament again. And I feel sorry for them. But I do know that when God gives and takes, he still ensures that the people of East people will always find a good replacement to replace his giant of a man. His passing, Mr. Speaker, will leave a big vacuum in the parliamentary wing of Pango Party and this government. But as I said earlier, God understands this and we will move on. But it will take a long, long time for the people of Galala to again produce a first class nation leader like the Honorable William Samp. And I thank God for blessing us with a man like him. Honorable name William Samp, may your soul rest in eternal peace until we meet again. Honorable Minister Blue Wax. Uh, thank you. Me too. One kind of prime minister and opposition leader, the plenty of people are leaders for country blame me. He sent up now. Uh, passing talk, sorry. Me too, me like Mark him. Most long old people blow me lo Mendy. Now family blow me lo. Talk sorry go lo. Mama blow late, brother. The Honorable William Sam. Mrs. Blongen. All Pikinini. Immediate all family na people blow Guelala. Central province. All uh, all first Papua. We will have some of the last Papua start. We like talk, sorry. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, <clears throat> Lord NEC, the Honorable, late Honorable William Sabim says, sit down, door. <clears throat> right hand side, blow me, and me says, sit down next. And a couple of days ago, we blocked any sinner. Will you minister? Some blood flowers is come stop. Me talk sorry. Time it sit down, let me see. <coughs> some some blood character belonging and one kind of some me too. So, Tami Blas Siran Nigo and me looking for some. Emi got some blood strong blood tinting, a tinting Nigo and a mind blowing Nigo or some blood, and Miss Akigim leg blowing. Just look crabby, ma'am. Nah, I'm so working one kind of me too. You me, all the leaders stop the year. Tami me provide him leadership. <coughs> Blow people, you me represent him, na country. Where you mean he run him? Time you got conflict of interest, lo one block walk you walk him. Maski how much effort you put in me go inside. This like conflict <coughs> of interest, that's all by walking now. Walk leave I go karangi. By no abstract. 
ba yi tingi mosem no gat mani lukim tasol giraon and pull up lo man god you walking man god let me give him knowledge na wisdom lo man na mani sa we sidan na bali glassing you you me all geta me lukim brother William was an one man where I'm true, true. Let me put him and blowing one tap. No representing more people blowing. No go la na Papua New Guinea. Plenty time, people are established in the sea, Mr. Speaker. Some of the very important issues that have come up. This is man, this honorable, late honorable member. No got one plan man by convincing him to walk in one that this in where him is feeling him is not right. Him says, stand up, the talk talk straight. Him one plan man where a yes is a yes, a no is a no. You may all get this, I got kind kind of character stuff. Some plan you may very strong old religious man. Some plan me play. Religious tutors all he got or some legal legal activities where people are we involved long enough some people are cracking jokes. Some blab people are like one one two to drink. People are a story. You buy none of looking the late honorable brother. And we got one that did no good no one plumber. Mr. Speaker, me save underneath lo pangu party lo the time. Now, the late brother is a civil engineer by profession. Now, I've been working with the Department of Works underneath this law, uh, National Roads Authority. I was a fine employee of the Department of Works, a fine engineer. That's a one last thing I'm looking at. Although me one plan, that's all. Of the previous government, we come out with the more PNC. I was the only one left to save this government, and the responsibility that I hold as Minister for Works would have been easily taken away from me by this man if he wanted to, because empathy belonging. He is a civil engineer by profession. He understands these things better. I too understand, but it's taking me time, struggle to understand him. This field because I am not a civil engineer. But me like to thank you, although me no got proof law. Togo Sam, me no been working this law. You know him, Nala. But I think he was someone that was there to support me as Minister for Works. Lo all get a any papers when Mr. Karimi come. Me not think of some blah plenty of civil engineers is stop inside long NEC. I think he was the only civil engineer that understood all the work that I was doing in the in the ministry. And every time, MSA supporting me. No good la reason, and that is to make sure that road infrastructure is built, maintenance program me on, and the connect PNG program. I came into parliament in uh, 1992. I'm sorry, you've Save. Ten years me step out, now me come back in. I'm 20 years from me. Inside Lord time. Me can talk to them. This time, the people of Guelala were able to able to find the man they would always hope for, and it was him. Sorry, through them, awesome. this land picked your life long end. Young plum man, but the young plum family, he still had so much to offer. But life, um, God is our give him now. God has made him a kiss him back. So question by you all get asking is why? 
plein de temps, temps man y dai, mi plein de temps, 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 plein de big head man y pour la blood la ground. Papa God, why you know le rossi mon big head man na lari mon good la man stop. But here you go, big head man stop yet, good la man y go. Mr. Speaker, I'd like to thank you, you. I'd like to thank you, long, all the officials of the parliament. I'd like to thank you, all the leaders, Prime Minister, opposition leader, and you, all the leaders. I'd like to thank you, this time. I could give them this place of respect. Mr. Speaker, you may plan this stuff, lawyer. 111 members of parliament. People all get that, all different all abilities. This la man's got plenty of good la passing. Plenty of good la passing. Leader, I want you something. Me explain him law, culture blow me. Time me blow, be the man long. At top plus blow me the mountain, he kill him peak. Me plus I cut him peak. Scale him, give him, give him, give him, he go go. Now by you, so as you look in one blood, leader, me carry him. One plus up, peace, Lord, la. Pick na, one time, knife him, you go, go out, you must have awesome. This la man, I'm no leader. Leader, true, true, and by cut him, pick, scale him, kai kai, give me go, na, knife, tassel him, bowl him, na, so as you look him, him, clean him, greasy, stop, law. Knife, and clean him, law, left, blind, and walk out. Amen. True, true, and leader. Mr. Speaker, this la government, where me play, sit long end. Enka, true, true, bro, this la government. I'm the Honorable, the late Honorable Williamson. I'm Papa True True Blood, the Pangu Party. I'm, I'm Brother True True Blood, Prime Minister and Minister. That's all. You may all get this, I read and write. Electorate belongs in. I'm one blood electorate where road to you know, connect him. I'm one blood tough terrain. That's all time you look, look inside, Lord, the little budget book. Block country believe me. One block believe block and proving me wrong. I must play million. This la money is a forcing them sex symbol. Walking road lo go la. No God, no no God true. You me all get a sex in one kind. You me all get a sex in one kind. So lo finishing talk to blow me. Brother blow me. Late William. You go la. Me and me meditari. Remember, you remember Blagwela. You people blow. Lead up blow, people blow Papua New Guinea. That's a lot. Time blew you, Lord. You say, like only one blood, leave the bottle be out. Story one and sample line. <coughs> and you say, pass one, they will mend this so. Brother blow me. Lord, make your mouth blow all together. All people blow mendy. Be like, Talk sorry, law. All get a line who said this, our staff, family belonging. Now, brother, blow me. me. Like, pass him. Condolences, blow me. May you rest in peace. Thank you. Honorable Governor of Lomorabe. Me too, like joining <clears throat> all colleagues, uh, leaders, long sharing. Sorry, bloom, people bloom more of me. Want to meet my family bloom me. Mr. Speaker, late uh, brother now sit down here. You know, sit down and sleep. And I meet the Arab sit down. One one, he got time to me long sleep with him. Making people belong more of a nine plus districts. Not two Pangu Party. Long province, a long country over there. Middle Togo Sam. Honorable William Sam. And one per man where face belonging. You know, also Mugoyla let us all. The walk belonging, the long passing belonging. I'm showing. 
Goylala, along Central Province, na Goylala, along Papua New Guinea. Mi plalo morobe, share in border one term, six plal provinces. One plal this plal, um, Central Province, na close to district and um, Goylala. So mi plal film, also in Goylala, mi part plal morobe, Long way, long thing, thing, and culture also. But time later, he come up and I saw him passing, uh, passing the walk. And I relate him this uh, uh, connection. Me play look him, member of Logoyla, I was saying, one play member of Morabe. Me like talk, thank you, long Deputy Prime Minister. And Poroman want them discipline, Blong Goylala, I'm leader. And me, Sana want them, now raise him, Pangu Party, Pangu Party, and me lose Penis, but two plus Sana want them. Thank you, people Blong Goylala, long belief in Pangu Party, or some name you talk, Papua New Guinea Party, or Papua New Guinea United. Now, the name Blong Pangu Party, now you play come up him, this play, or give him, or offer him, this play picking me. He go long people, long Papua New Guinea. And now he stop, want them rest of the country. And I contribute penis, long country, play you may long different levels, long him. Or same member, or same minister. Now same deputy leader, long Pango Party, long Southern region. Now contribute long. Development belong country belong you mean. Walk belong in. Emmy saw him also in one plan man. Emmy team Papua New Guinea. Now Emmy contribute long way. Emmy team also. Emmy no not belong come a prime minister. But Emmy can start was a minister and Emmy can contribute long cabinet, not long party level. So, Emmy is successful on this plan. Mr. Speaker, M contribute to this. One time, plenty, good plan, talk, talk, belong, passing, belong, and now character, belong, and character, belong, and Emmy, you know, one kind of samogra. Emmy got own unique uh, character, belong, and Mr. Speaker, character belonging, I mean, speak louder than man himself. Time people are looking passing belonging, uh, man, I'm yet. I'm looking big belly seat department, I'm serving, no office belonging. Mr. Speaker, I'm looking for party, I'm looking for big party. Connection blow me play one time. People from uh, Golala, na people from Central. Misave, he go blow and he go down blow and Amber come up compost can. Long growing, no club angu party man. Long Golala, na long Arab laha long Central Province too. One play important something before long I me go long uh, Dubai, me go stop long office long end. Now me talk with him. Governor, you belong border, belong Medellin, now Morobe. Now me belong border, belong Central, now Morobe. One play talk you make him long Medellin, the governor's conference, now you talk with him. It's all the Papua New Guinea, all the provinces, he got provinces. Now, people who had established on border am all am lost ship. Ship be be lose long Papua New Guinea, am all established on border belong all the provinces long Papua New Guinea. All established France, all benefit long government services. But place us in Goylala, na Kabum, na Arab Lahab, where provinces is sharing border am all lost ship and talk. Suppose government 
Now, the planning system, blow you mean? You may not accommodate him all, and um, all the time, but he start backside all the time. Only believe long lotu. Now, only no believe long government because government services in our team border areas. Me to em togo sem. You make him this la talk long. Me da ing long governors conference. Me think him yet. Em to suppose em la think think you got long sharing border. Program blow you, when them Medellin governor, West New Britain governor, Oro governor, na Eastern Highlands governor, na Gulf governor, Miplalu Central Province, Goilala brother blow you stop, no ke lose him thinking program blow you, must stop inside too, because coffee blow garena, but me must kiss him go long na job. I think him desla. So, time I go, I'm like a few days ago on Geneva, I make him this play talk. I mean, give him some play thing, thing long, looks hard, awesome. Plenty hard, awesome. Goyla line, Arapla hub. We play sharing border, Namelo provinces. He got big plan need on this place. So, Arapla something, I mean, make him, and I lose him thinking. That's what this play talk long, and when me think him this play. Mr. Speaker, I'm a young plumber. I got great potential and contribute more, but I go hurry up. Just like give him simple lesson to me, the members of parliament. Office plus speaker, how about you make him more some help? But you may you got simpler can see what the looks of it, check him up yet. Over the time so that you may not can either hurry up. You must stop yet. Start long time for election, I finish good. People belong Goilala. Story belong Goilala. Plenty story of some Goilala and Mosem Mosem. But long me yet, me look him, how member, late member he contribute, me describe him and Mosem, and me rainbow belong Goilala people, or name Goilala. The leadership long in, and me also light good, giving different color, different picture. Long people of Papua New Guinea leaders, all the honorable group leaders, the big leaders, the party leaders, all the describing men, penis, or some one kind man. So me can comfortably cover him this little towels and go like you produce in one place. Rainbow leadership, long time, display time. Arapla leader talk before in Oga Desla can pass in the previous leaders. But long time long you or time long current leader now and me go only talk and me pass in a different and me so I'm more same koilala and me no more uh, stories you may have him long in leadership and me giving good picture along people long koilala people long koilala can give him Good leader awesome. But long growing kind leader awesome, you know, easy. And but taking time, and but taking many, many years to produce such quality and best character leadership. And lesson long Ogre Hablo Papa Nugini, you may lead us yet too. So one time display, me play on behalf long people long more of it. Now Pangu Party long Papa Nugini, more of a Pangu Party. Executive, provincial executive, and uh, national Bangu Party executive. Ms. Me, Pastor, me talk, thank you, long people, long Goilala. Long, give him this play, picking the ikam, na help him, long, kira him, Bangu Party, long Papua New Guinea, and country where kiss him independent, one time this plan name. And name really describes unity, or meaning, long, unity. Na M, behind him, this play, Bangu Party, Ting ting, na passing blown character blown, and I make him so. Me like talk. Thank you, lo people, lo goila la, lo produce him this play leader. Na me carry him name Pangu Party. Na me go down. Me talk. Thank you to long for, uh, Deputy Prime Minister. Long uh, you supporting him. Long come up member blown goila la. Long and behind long by election. Naimi come up as a Pangu Party <coughs> member, 
you come in up either belong and thank you long uh, this was big club work you make him long kira him uh, pango party on this black country now uh, benefit long and you may organize now benefit now now you may stop long pango led government one time family long and maybe you play losing power play you play but thinking not passing good for passing and making him by star one time you play People from Koilala, me play by asking long king one play nuple leader can one kind of same so that Emmy can current name play you play in a picture and a character. The uh, current leader Emmy demonstrate him long country. Emmy can so in one kind so that name long Goilala, you know can bar up. Goilala name, good play leader must uh, reflect him. People long place. One time this play. Honorable Speaker, thank you, Lord Harim Blaibla. Honorable uh, Minister Blong, Information uh, Communication. Thank you. <clears throat> thank you, Speaker. We took me Sanab. On joining all, all brother, all members of the parliament, long give him talk sorry. Long display. Tai long brother member, the member long go ilala. Me by walking trip la talk talk that's on a missing down plenty of honorable members or brata like talk talk too. Number one, me like talk thank you. We talk thank you, past them, long family long em, long mama, who sat this table chamber, I uh, mean inside of Antablo Gallery, uh, wife long em, or Pikinini, uh, all clan, uh, tribe long em, or people long oilala. We like talk thank you long. DDA members, Long M, Long Goylala District Development Authority, one time CEO, Long All, Governor, Long Central, who sat in Chief Mona, Long Display Time, Long Walk One Time M, a supporting M, Long Display All Times, and Staff, all the member of Long Parliament, Makim, <coughs> all people, Long Goylala. Mr. Speaker, me like talk thank you too. Long before leader of Long Pango Party, and now Deputy Prime Minister, Honorable Sam Basil. Long talk talk, I'm making pennies. Long how I'm making them, planting leaders, talk talk. And that more too, me like talk thank you. Long before Prime Minister, Honorable Peter O'Neill. Long look him, this black potential, not this black caliber. Now this play integrity belong em, long makim em, minister belong <coughs> bogen villa face. Me look him this play. And me been one play, very important appointment. As member belong South Bougainville, me sanab, me makim all people belong me. Now two makim mouse belong regional member belong me. Honorable Peter Chamarilli Jr. Long talk talk, long talk thank you. Long this plan looks save and government look before it look him na give him long em. Long mark him government long Papua New Guinea long come up with minister blow bogan villa face. Because this plan time when been come inside of the minister and me plus stop long road long go long referendum. Now Emmy been come inside. Now you know all the same talk talk and been making that that's all passing long em. Passing where Emmy been come now, you have a people, 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 we are very difficult people. You cannot convince me, people, long quick time. But long way, long em, or some more get a talk talk. Long passing, long em. Where we been come now, so him, very down to earth. Man, where Emmy just have a biting bros. Man, where Emmy, Emmy, stop the level, long man, Emmy, sit down, are the paya. Grassroot man, em displa man. Na mi pla ol geta look him leadership blong em. Na mi pla scale him lo displa passing blong em. 
time I come, I like talk talk long on people, I stand up on stage, I don't wear him suit. I don't wear him suit, I stand up on top. Now this black guy in person, I don't want to look him long, who's that leader I make him. Very unique. Very unique leader. This black man. I mean, win him hearts, and the souls of people are not Bougainville. That's why this period of time when people are going through long, this people are passing, they go inside the referendum. I become like me, down in pressure of people. Let me give me people hope. Let me give me people this people look savvy. Now I'm summing up. All get at this place time, let me talk to the North Bougainville. Long I belong member of the North Bougainville. Honorable William Nakin, now people belong him. Now I'll get to talk to you about making peace. Let me talk. Me give him blessing by me kiss him long lala. Let me cut him up and more get to something. Time let me talk talk so. Me plow people belong Bougainville. Me plow, let me sum up in me plow one time. And now let me lose him me plow of them. Some of them even come, long invitation blow me because they've got one blood last blow about no come. They've long opened him, bless balloons blow me, long South Bougainville. But let me talk to me. Minister, me by go to Dubai. Me talk to him, all right, you walk about good. You go. Instead, long let me come, we got four blood. Brother members blow Pangu, now ministers, Honorable Rainbow Paita. Minister of National Planning, Honorable Joe Sungi, member, uh, Minister Blo, member Blo Nuku, now Minister of Public Service, Honorable Solan Mirisim, member of Long Telephoning, now Minister of Forest, now Honorable, Honorable Pogio, Gate, and Vice Minister, now Long Agriculture, now member of Long uh, Daulo, and Olivin Kam. I mean, stand up here and I mean, talk to all them because. Look what same old walk about long and maybe save a finish when something might come up. Instead, long and come, you got four people only come. Now, five long regional member of long, me at long Bougainville, now vice minister of Bougainville affairs. But history of Bougainville, any part of history of me, William Sam will always be a history, part of our history. Because he crossed flooded rivers to go and reach the people on the other side to talk to them. Musky rain, one is something. Let me go, let me walk about, let me come, let me sit down, talk to all the people are describing peace. But to us, he gave us that hope. He gave us that sense of feeling and that sense of belonging. The walk about Blomipla. And so I stand, lo talk, thank you, lo you play who sat in, look, save long em. Now you play, got part, lo play me inside, lo life, long em, or some leader. Long bring him em, lo display mark, we em in up, display him, display leadership, long em, lo I blow me, play all people, blow Bougainville. Now, la last part, talk, talk, me like, make him, now me sit down em, or some. Me appeal, long all people, long, you me, long Papua New Guinea. Especially all people who said this away, ask him long plant is something long me plow all members. Plenty time. All people blow me plow yet only put in big plow pressure on top of me plow members. Only thing all say me plow got answer blow all get something. Only thing all say me plow got money blow straight him like blow all, all get something. This is like not a kind of pressure is a come. Now this plan, me not talk German. I'm all get a brother member sitting down here, all is have a pill him. Now especially now, the time me plan, I go inside the election, and pressure me pull up more yet. Me plan, I must plan members, he's, he sends him telephone number, finish. Because me plan, me plan like silly them, he got message to come. All the talk, you not giving me, me not give you a number. So these are the kind of things that people are putting, you know, pressure on us. Please, all people blow me in Papua New Guinea, not too long, Bougainville. Look, save Lord Displa. Protect him, leader, blow you. Look out, him, leader, blow you. Because of this leader, one blow good leader, then you must save us. Some of them, you go all them. You got part of blame. You too, you must look, save Lord Displa. Now, some leaders, you got way blow all long, take him off this pressure. And I believe 
my our dearest brother who lies before us. Emi bin Wokla, you seem this play way long. Kiss him drink na Emi awesome. keep him away all pressure. But he was a fine man. I knew him also before Parliament. Mr. Long M2 before long. We to want them come inside the parliament. We come inside the 2016 long by election. Now become scanning when I'm talking, brother, welcome. I'm talking me one black talk, me no salusin thing. I'm coming inside long. Same same kind time, long 2015. Now I'm talking me, me to be last born. I'm talking to him, me to be last born. But I love the man so much. Just like how I love all my other brother members. Because. I'm leader, I'm from a very remote area inside the country, and me one kind. We share the same kind of area, me plus staff, but not really similar, but difficulties are there. And I want to, as I sit, uh, be ready to sit down and talk. Thank you, Lord Prime Minister, Honorable James Marape, uh, 2M leader of Pangupati, Lomipla. Long display special look save. Long give him display national house cry. Long a saving mem uh, saving minister. Long let me go down or same. Now display look save. I think it's a deserving look save. And I thank you, Prime Minister. Long display thing thing. We like to thank you too. Long regional member blow me. So let me go pass. Long look save. Now make him all get a walk. Long house cry. Long look save. Long display leader, Prata, where I now sleep long front, long you me. One time long display again, long behalf, long marking family, blow me, tribe, blow me, clan, blow me, long Buin, long Wisa area, long South Bougainville. Me offer him condolence, talk sorry, go long family, go long people, blow Goilala, go long Pangu party, and go long display government, blow you me. Thank you. May your soul rest in peace till we meet again, my brother, William Sam. Honorable uh, Minister of Law, Provincial Affairs. Provincial Affairs. Okay. Uh, Thank you, Mr. Speaker. <clears throat> uh, on behalf of the people of Mbongo and my family, I would like to offer my sincere condolence to my late brother. He's a fine leader, one of which is I admire him is that if he believes in something, he will not hold it back and he'll speak out. And now that he won't, and I, I, I sometimes stand with him and I do the same thing. Like suppose me believe Lord Ambla something. Me no sa wari Lord Ambla man, me can talk out. Na em em Lord Ambla long en, em sa talk out. Na me like talk thank you long, take him this opportunity Lord take, talk thank you. Or some more people belong. Ella na Southern Islands, em one Ambla man, em talk or same. If like kissing Prime Minister, I'm making Prime Minister Marabe. Also, Prime Minister, and I'm talking to Kisim now. Me look that me talk like talk. Thank you, long and also, my brother, you give him this love. Look, look at him, Papua New Guinea. Now, past him, also, brother, blow me long upside his top. Uh, Mr. O'Neill, you you too help him long. Give him this love to play. Prime Minister, long country. Now, me look at him. Now, me like talk. Thank you, Lord Sam. This like good blood work. You make him go la go la la, and you give him a plan. Me like thank me like talk thank you long end. And that long end now plan is good blood talk talk leaders all talk finish. Now one blood long end cause blood death, cause blood die. Some blood time we live a life that you bless bless our regret. I'll say, speaker, you stop now. It, you talk to one of them clerk that so speaker, please take note. Uh, I'm, I'm also Jim blow me play innocent, all members all innocent walking exercise. Ask them, Mikolong, 
si blok na milug lug down na si blok em gym mi plan na train long na mi plan ba exercise long na em em display you know stop straight members of parliament mi no na go outside the public na go give exercise this la time all custom na passing lo yimi also mol sa biani biani brand blend blo bi biani mi blo all grab on the one la place em all na ad lo come in em lo si block ta sol please Improving the slab facilities, um, uh, so me black and walking exercise, and another uh, long end or some time you know some black members, me black stop selection. Kai kai me black kai kai long end, I'm kai kai lot kai kai na. You me yet kill me you me yet. Na me black seven black man in that finish. It's possible to improve long uh, lifestyle and me plan by a uh, goal same. So I'm on blah long and me like speaker me like ask him you know next parliament maybe to improve the gym. One them this like me like talk thank you long member long go lela and make him good blah walk and uh, I'm son up also I'm leader. It's a short man but it's really a tall man. He think big and it's, he will be remembered forever. With this, his soul shall rest in peace. All uh, honourable members, me understand that plenty blue me. Almost you blah all that I give him condolence uh, message. But uh, you may all come her uh, close to the time blue me, but me mark him couple of speakers more, and then by you me uh, make him this la. So now me look sabe long uh, deputy speaker, the member of the come. Thank you, Speaker. <coughs> Mr. Speaker, Bisana Blohia, the Joni Molnarpla colleague member, the Kissy Mouse, the Speaker of the Parliament, Honorable Joe Pomat, Clerk of Parliament, Deputy Clerk, Sergeant of Arms, Security, Cleaner, Ogara Walkman Mary Blodisla Parliament. Misana Blo Maki Mouse Blongol. Lo Miplo Ogara too, like joining me Plo Ogata member. Lo give him Bikla Tok Sore Blo. Disla House. Blo Papa New Guinea. Igolo family. Mary Pikinini. All Brata. Mama. Now all family lo place. Now people blo goilala. Lo lost. Lo colleague member. Late Honorable William Sam. The Honorable Leader, the Minister, and by leaving one plus footprint, Lord Display House. And that footprint, and losing Lord Display House, will never be forgotten. As all the colleague member, you plus describe him, him Lord M1M M1M kind man, that is the story to tell in this house. And that is a story to tell to the people of Goilala and Papua New Guinea. To the mother who have felt the pain of giving birth to this child, not knowing that one day he will be a member of parliament. And today he felt another pain. She felt another pain sitting up here watching his own son that he have gave birth to is now lied in this house that we all witness. So talk sorry blow me play golo. Mama blow him. All Mary Pigini by Missy Memlo House. They will miss his joke, his presence. They will see where he sits and eat, where he lies. His clothes, whatever he have left behind, will be memorable to the family. And I know the family, you will feel the pain of losing a father. We pray may God's comfort be with you. And may God's leading hand leads you in the years to come. Without the father, the Lord will always be on your side. 
And before I sit, I would like to put myself into the Sioux of my brother who lied before us. Honorable members, people of Sotlaman, we have a story. People of Sotlaman, we always push ourselves from behind. We try all our best to meet those who are taller than us. We want to see what is before us. Olong Plaman Sanab, or by passing Mibla or looking, when him something is of front. The Miblas are trying best to Mibla through or looking, when him something will come up. Some time we compete to be seen among the taller and bigger people. This is how we sort people are always felt. We felt that we are small in size. We felt that we will be pushed behind by tall people and bigger people. This is how we sort people always feel. But as you have always, already described, we are sort in size, but we are big in heart. With this power of being sought in size, we always push ourselves to be recognized. And my brother, who is before us, demonstrate who we are. No matter what, you can see us small in our size. But our heart is big for our people. And what we can do, we do it with all our best to mix ourselves with all of you. And what we did, we always did it with power that is behind us. And I'm putting myself in the shoe of my brother, who is now sleeping here. He did all he can, being so among us. He is big and tall in the heart of what he did demonstrate. And that will leave a legacy that we all never forget. That, once again, on behalf of the Speaker and the Parliament and the clerks, we once again wish our condolence message to his family. And on behalf of my family, now people blow me lo makam, one plat time, and been go come up, place blow me straight. First plat time blow me lo look savel lo William Samp, em go lo house blow me straight na me look savel lo. Me no savel lo em lo one em up. Sem basil kisi me me go lo house dua blow me. Em kai kai lo ground suspend kai kai blow me lo house. And that time, I come to know William Samp who is just short as I am. I invited him to my own village to launch my district works missionaries. And my own family, my mother gave him a kundu to tell him that we are brothers. I stand on behalf of my family and my people to pass our condolence message. A bell sore blow me play go low family blow him, not people the place blow him. Brother, may you rest in peace. Thank you. Honorable Governor of East New Britain. But uh, before Honorable Governor of East New Britain, let me make him all talk talk blow him. Me like talk several of you, me honorable members, so send by you, me try him as much as possible. Look, you see, you blow all the time, make him, me looking plenty, blow you blow, listen up, make him all condolence message, but uh, thing him, uh, no can pull him to mass, give him enough time, no, no, this, no, no, that you, me all the time, can make him all talk, blow me, so. Honorable Governor. Good. At the outset, uh, Mr. Speaker, I would like to thank all those members who, has, who have expressed themselves in the date, the date of late sun. Mr. Dauna Mihari Mulgu Pela story through. So I'm Mitharaim Tu and I walk him talk to Bolivia by Sot Pelata Sol. On behalf of the people of East Britain, we talk sorry to my long family belonging, all picking in the belonging, and particularly the mother who has mentored this man 
to be somebody. Now all people belong to Ilala. Now you could talk to you, Miharim Pinis. You Miharim all good talk to Now where me summarize in the assembly, Miharim all good talk to Prime Minister working good talk to talk. Deputy Prime Minister, uh, leader of the opposition, working good talk to talk. And all the other colleague members, only working good talk to talk. I first met this man who is lying in state. In 2001, in Rabaul, when he was then being employed by Son Cliff. So, for the time he said, Long office blow me. Now he come up. One white man. And he long for a man through, now he was a short person. So, to play come long office blow me, now to play talk, so people like him, look at me. So he came there and introduced himself. That he was the civil engineer for Son Cliff. Now he's only been giving him a contract long in national government to repair the North Coast Road. So that's how I know this man. He's been booking me long the same time. Now 2017, time he came up governor, we meet him long here again. He stayed in the ball was for one year. He's been walking good people walk through long the same road. He's been walking. And today, it reminds me and the people of the North Coast that what he did as a civil engineer, some of those hard work he did under him still stands today. He's been working all Calvert good through here. He's been working good to the uh, Despite that we're having this climate change, and we've been in the jury, all walk through, and I've been working good through, and today still remains. Uh, so, this is all talk talk when we play Harim Pinis, where the leaders have expressed. Uh, he was a perseverance person. He was a senior state minister. And we believe all the All the good people have been walking. He was a God fearing person. Speaker, God give us the life. One the life, then God give you me. And God by Rouse him can one time. And today, you miss it all along here. You miss sorry to my soul. Now, brother, you missed up. But you missed out. Goodbye, long in. Mr. Speaker, I raise one question regarding the current members of parliament. I left this parliament some 21 years ago. Let me come back here in 2017. And before this parliament had an insurance cover policy, and I think some of the speakers have highlighted that, <clears throat> there was an insurance cover policy where all members must give him 2,000 deducted from their pay every fortnight to cover up for this insurance cover policy. When I came here in 2017, I checked on that and that insurance cover policy was already thrown out. So I certainly suggest, uh, Speaker, that, that that policy must be introduced back to Parliament. Now that the member talk finish, we are under pressure. People are pressing people about long here. Only all people believe me, in our respective uh, districts, our respective provinces, all the same thing, all the same, you may carry back money and walk about here. So I think it's very important. I think one of the speaker mentioned about this gym, it must be also renovated and put back to, to place so that we can go and do some exercise. But that seems to work policy, Mr. Speaker, is very important. Those days, some 20 years ago, they used to have a full-time nurse here checking people. And we are supposed to be thoroughly checked every month. This must be a prerequisite requirement. Now, this parliament, we, saw, we lost seven people altogether. Seven members. Former members now, all, now Brother William is sitting down long here now. The late Sam, and Mr. Long here now. But I encourage that uh, speaker through you that this uh, insurance policy must be introduced back to ensure that all members of parliament are checked monthly, or long time below parliament sitting, long condition belong and they must your right so they can attend to their work in a way that they are very healthy. We must remember that a healthy person can walk in plenty walk here. A very sick person will not do a lot of work. Mr. Speaker, on, my be on behalf of my people of East Britain, we talk sorry to us, long die belong in. Now we talk sorry to us, long family belong in staff. I will appeal to my people that they will only continue to pray for his soul as well as family so the good Lord will give them the comfort. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. 
Honorable um, Member Lorigo. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, for giving me this opportunity to uh, pay a short tribute to late uh, Honorable uh, William Sam. As many previous speakers have said, late William Sam might have been small, uh, physically or short, but he was big uh, in stature and character. So his lord is, uh, firstly, on behalf of uh, the people of Rigo and my family, many of whom regularly interact with the late William Sam. I uh, convey our deepest and sincere condolences to the family of uh, late uh, Honorable William Sam uh, and the people of uh, Goilala. His uh, passing is not only a loss to, to his family and the people of Goilala, but it is also a loss to uh, Central Province and uh, Papua New Guinea as well. As many speakers have uh, mentioned, although he was small in uh, physical stature, William, late William Sam had a big heart, a heart that he wore on his sleeve. And um, he was a person who also spoke his mind without fear of favor. And a, an example that he did to me in 2018, in November 3rd, 2018, during our Rio Cultural Festival at Quiquila, he said to my wife, your husband is coming with me to Goilala next weekend and he has no choice, he's gonna come with me. So the weekend after, on the 10th and 11th of November 2018, I took that trip with him to Goilala. And we went to places like uh, Aduai, where they have a Bob Onion uh, farm. And then later on, we went to his village, uh, Kambasi, where we spent the night in the ha uh, house mark. <coughs> and then the uh, next day, we went to Ononge, <coughs> where they had the coffee nursery. So th those are some of the things that uh, late um, Honorable William Sam, uh, with his vision for, for his people, um, put in place uh, for his people of uh, Goilala. As we pay tributes, it is not only the person uh, who has passed on that we make reference to. As we uh, celebrate his life, we also talk about other people who might have interacted with him or shared their life with him. So in this instance, as we go through uh, the great journey of life, we interact and we cross paths with many people that add to the rich tapestry of life, which also adds to our experiences. And I want to make a particular mention of a couple that contributed greatly to this, young, uh, to this young man, especially during his university days at the University of Technology. And I make mention of late Rupa Kila and his wife, Pastor Miriam Kila. They almost became like his foster parents when he was going to the University of Technology. And when late uh, Rupa Kila passed away, during a time when late William Sam was in the U.S. that uh, <clears throat> Governor for East Speak, uh, Sipic uh, mentioned, where these two great governors, the uh, Governor for East Sipic and uh, Governor for Oro, were acting as the bodyguards for late William Sam. Late Rupa Killer passed on, so I was the one that communicated with him to watch up. And after expressing his uh, <clears throat> condolences, uh, he said, go ahead and lay him to rest, and I will pay my respects on my return. And he did. Only a year or two ago, when uh, a soccer tournament was hosted in, in, the, in memory of uh, late Rupa Kila, late Honorable William Sam fulfilled that commitment. After being from the mountains, and I guess he would have overcome a little bit of his fear of the sea uh, during that by-election of uh, Samurai Mura, the Dep Deputy Prime Minister, uh, I talked about, he was a regular visitor to the Papakana Beach, where I am from. He was a regular visitor with his family and a lot of his uh, electoral staff. And I regularly met him in my village uh, on, on those visits. And 
When he was the Minister for Transport and Infrastructure, as we know, in addition to many of the things that he uh, achieved as, a, as the Minister then, one of the uh, issues that he spoke passionately about was the, the uh, Zomat Passage in Melbourne Bay and, uh, uh, and, and the contribution that that particular passage can make to the economy of, the, of Melbourne Bay and perhaps to, to Papua New Guinea. So let me finish off with my short tribute by a quote by the Second World War Prime Minister of the United Kingdom, um, Prime Minister Winston Churchill, which says, no one is compelled to serve great causes unless he or she feels fit for it. The operative word there is fit. And I think all of us can agree that late Honorable William Sam was a great fit, perhaps a perfect fit for Goilala. Given his professional background as a civil engineer, he had great dreams for his electorate and for his people. So yes, late William uh, Sam was a great fit for Goilala. So with, those, uh, with the short tribute, my friend, may you have a great journey. Bon voyage and rest in God's bosom. Thank you, Mr. Deputy Speaker. The Honorable Governor for Central. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. <clears throat> Prime Minister, Honorable James Marape, Opposition Leader, Belden Nama, Ministers of State, fellow governors, and members of parliament. Mr. Speaker, I also want to take this opportunity, like all our fellow dealers, to pass my condolences to the mother, wife, and children of late Honorable William Sam, his family, tribe, the people of Goilala, and Central Province for the loss of not only a great leader, but a father, brother, husband, uncle, son, and friend, who very early in his young age got his hands dirty and worked very hard in life, which then qualified him to become a leader of his people when he decided to do so. Mr. Speaker, Goilala is one of the most remote districts in Central Province. And with a lot of tribal issues, it needed a good, strong leader with a vision and charisma who knew his people to lead them out of a very tribal lifestyle and to harness better opportunities for the future generation. William Sam invested a lot in education as he believed that this was the only way to give opportunity to the next generation of Goilalas to achieve his vision for a greater Goilala. He then worked very closely with me to drive coffee in our one crop per district program. As our identity has a lot to do with branding and having a successful brand means getting rec recognition for the right reasons. William Sam was always a national leader first and a central leader second. However, we both worked very hard for our people to change the stereotype mindset that others had of us, have of us. We were slowly setting strong foundations with the people of our good, with the help of our good prime minister and our fellow Pangu leaders. And that led to strong support by our people to start working the land in line 
with his district development plan, our smart central plan, and our Marabi government's plan on going rural. Now that you are gone, my brother, I will continue to do our work, our people's work, just like you and I talked about, as you have set a good foundation that I can follow to achieve that vision you longed for, and that's for a better lifestyle for our people of Goilala, for Central Province, and for Papua New Guinea as a whole. On behalf of my family, your people of Goilala, our people of Central Province, and your Bully Beef team, I favor you. Bamauta Lao Tariku Lalokauna. May God, may our good God bless your beautiful soul. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. The Honorable Member for us, the Honorable Governor for Gulf. Thank you, Deputy Speaker. Deputy Speaker, I rise to share with my colleagues who have spoken before me on behalf of the people of Gulf Province, whose electorate of Kerma has lost a member and borders Bololo and Golala electorate sharing the same difficulties uh, of terrain and challenges of development. Deputy Speaker, I will make it short, but in so doing, uh, let me thank, in the seven years that his people mandated him into this august house, the people who have made it possible for all of us here to Farewell him. His relevance to this government and to this parliament is immeasurable. At the outset, I want to thank his family, especially the parents who gave birth to him in his village in a Tawadi tribe in Golala. His father was a councillor, was a ward member before he passed on earlier. And those leadership traits are so obvious in the way that William served his people in his electorate, this nation, outside of this chamber and within, within this chamber and in the party caucus and government caucus. I want to thank Honorable Deputy Prime Minister and Pangu Party for endorsing him, working with him and ensuring that his dreams of serving his people was achieved seven years ago and to take him to the opposition and to defend the rights of our people from the opposition and to speak and then to get re-elected from the opposition into parliament. Deputy Speaker, it is my view that every member of this parliament, when they first enter parliament, must serve in the opposition must feel the challenges of having little or no resources in the past. I must know the feelings of our people truly, because to serve in the opposition, Deputy Speaker, when you come to government and you are, you are a minister, you know that you can do a better job 
than just coming straight on the floor of parliament and being a cabinet minister. I want to thank the Honorable Peter O'Neill, former Prime Minister, for recognizing him as a Papua New Guinean, not as the member for Galala, and giving him a very challenging portfolio to look after Bougainville. And as we've heard from Sepukatemu, Honorable Sepukatemu, he laid the foundations on which our relationship with the autonomous region of Bougainville is now being built on. And lastly, I want to thank our Prime Minister, Parliamentary Leader of Pangu Party, for holding him firm and steadfast and ensuring that in the party room, as in our government caucus and in NEC and in our various interactions with every member that William has outshone many members who serve longer terms in the relevance of his involvement in shaping national life and an impact that we all feel today, a loss that is our loss, but a loss for the nation as well as his family and the people of Golala, the three great tribes of Kunimaipa, Tawadi and Fuyugi. Deputy Speaker, these stations we hold in life, especially when we serve officers, don't belong to us, Deputy Speaker. They belong to our people. When we are charged with these responsibilities, it is also important to note that we must balance ourselves. We must take charge personally of our health. Deputy Speaker, health is a personal responsibility. It is not the responsibility of this parliament. It is your responsibility to ensure that we all stay healthy, that we live long, that when we are not members of parliament, but we move on to do other things, that we are still there. We have lost seven members of parliament in this parliament. That is a record. It shows that something is very, very, very wrong. Whether it's a trend among leaders or it's a trend in this nation, it is an epidemiological question that I cannot answer. Only health experts can answer if they've done studies. But we must do our individual best to stop it. Parliament can make services available, but if they are not used and they fall into disrepair, as has happened in the past, we cannot blame Parliament. Deputy Speaker, in closing, I want to thank also our governor, my colleague, governor of Central Province. In his last five years, I've seen him work very closely with William to bring coffee from Golala, promote it together with myself, 
kind tea or coffee, bring it to the world stage. Package it for export. And that has happened. I want to thank the Prime Minister for appointing him Minister for Transport and ensuring that Connect PNG comes to fruition as his legacy. In the next couple of weeks, Deputy Speaker, we will be driving from Mount Hagen down into Kikori. The Prime Minister will drive for the first time from the highlands of our country down to Kikori in the Gulf province, fulfilling that dream. One day, in the next 10, maybe five years, 15 years, we can do the same, driving from Leh down into Port Mosby. I want to thank, on behalf of my people, his efforts in government, in cabinet, to ensure that his people of Golala and Central Province and my province and Motukoita got a bit out of the GST of the National Capital District. Deputy Speaker, Gulf and Central Province, especially the people of Golala, have a shared common history colonial history, missionary history, and education history. We were security guards, cooks, gardeners in the colonial times. In the early settlements in Port Mosby, where there is a Golala settlement, there is a Kerma settlement. <laughs> Where there is a Kerma settlement, there is a Gwilala settlement. Our people have lived together peacefully over the years and come to regard each other as one people. So it is with a sad heart that I pass on behalf of my people our deep and sincere condolences on the loss of William to his family, to his people, and also on behalf of my party, Pangu Party, our party in Gulf Province. May you rest in eternal peace. Thank you. The Honorable The Honorable Governor for Central, ah, uh, Southern Islands. Thank you, Mr. Deputy Speaker. Me too, Martin Mal Pivol Blong, Yelwo Pangia, Nipa Kurubu, Mendi Monhiu, where Honorable Minister, uh, Michael Nali, Tok Tok Pinis, uh, Kago Rave, Na Imbongu, where Honorable Minister Pila Neningi, he Tok Tok Pinis, on behalf of the people of Southern Islands. Me like pass him uh, sincere condolence. He go long all. Mary Pignini, long late. Uh, Minister William Sand, Mama Blongen, all immediate relatives. The uh, Governor for Central and the people of Central. One time all uh, Pangu Party, uh, Prime Minister and all members of Pangu Party. Uh, on the passing of our late brother, colleague, the Minister. I stay, me mark him all people from Southern Highlands, now walk him pass in custom, long say John Guy Stadium. Lord, this the time, uh, me, me like talk sorry, long all people from Guadalajara, well, Central Province, also my, the Honorable William Sand, and one of fine leader from Guadalajara. Well, my observation over the last 10 years that means double parliament, I think. Under the leadership of William Sand, Guelala's leadership has been elevated to an unprecedented level. 
Uh, plenty of time, people, members of parliament, Papua New Guinea, we, people are pull up plenty of time long criticism, talk down on leaders, very pessimist. But why elect them in the first instant? Some of the criticisms nah, no good. It's not objective criticisms long straight in development, a passing governance and service delivery in this country. It's more or less subjective criticisms, talking down. A plenty long display, all challenges where you may all leaders go through long end. I think for on this occasion, me like appeal on all Papua New Guinea for once, respect leaders for what they believe in. Because plenty of time long dive long leaders, you may walk long, talk, talk long good play, call something. But another time, we shoot each other down. All right, uh, long side long walk long leaders. What, me like reminding you, me, all uh, honorable. Members of the Parliament, Deputy Speaker, through you and the people of Papua New Guinea, what is really the job of members of Parliament? What are we really here for? Our job, in my view, is to set the vision for this country in the progress, transformation, governance, service delivery, now go forward. Vision. A meeting of some big plan, work plan, me plan, long Parliament. Set the vision for 20 years, 30 years, 50 years in what the country should be. Here is a testimony, in my view, as I sit back, hear you people speak, you honorable leaders speak. A man from Guelala, from Norway, set the vision in accompanying the Prime Minister, the honorable James Marwe, and of course, Miplol. Teammate where Miplol is and they need Lord Pangu, set the vision for transformation. Service delivery through what? Empowering the little men in the villages, in the communities to take back and to set the destiny. So, me like talk several long old people long. Well, Central Province, Papua New Guinea. You don't need to come from very well off places to set the destiny. God can give him think thing, a transformation mind. I me appeal long, Mama Blong, the uh, later, Honorable William Sand, one time all family belong and all Pignini, uh, Central Provincial Government, the people of Guayalala. You have lost our father, brother, long physical sight, but the testimony to transform this country still lingers. And it lost up two and a half years, this was a transformation agenda, where Prime Minister driving long end, where Pangu and original Pangu driving long end. When people come in on driving long end, we'll transform this country for now and into the future. May his soul rest in peace. Minister for Agriculture. Thank you. <coughs> Thank you, Deputy Speaker. It will be remorse of me not to also share my lap and my moments with this great man from Guelala. David Speaker, I stand before this house to also offer my heartfelt condolences on behalf of my family, my people of Maprik, especially to his mother, who is still alive and watching. The son lying in front of me. Sam, this is not true. You're not in his coffin. I can't believe this. Everything we discussed and we talked about, my brother, why like this? I remember we were together at Laguna when you advised me we were by the pool. That brother, let me put him name the beginning of me confidence. Because of the no, word of no confidence, you said there is no such thing as word of no confidence. My son will be named confidence. I remember our trip to Noge for coffee. Up to Guerrilla. 
My brother, we laughed and we joke. We said many things together on behalf of Guanola Coffee. Late Sam, my brother, to put the word late Sam doesn't go down well with me. You're always looking for ways to improve. Your rural economy, because we both come from a rural economy, a rural district. But yours is the toughest. And with that, it ended up in your untimely death. I recall my brother, you rang me from Port Mosby when I was in Dubai. He said, brother, you were. I said, Mr. Abdul Dubai, you come. I'm looking for market to sell your Goyalala coffee. You travel to Singapore and you call me. I said, I'm still here, come. By the time you reached Dubai, you were in bed. I visited your sick bed before I came back in the hospital. On behalf of the Prime Minister, on behalf of our government, you told me, Brother Mimo, all right, you go. That was on Wednesday night. You said, I will be discharged on Thursday. So I flew out the next day. But the next day I was in Singapore when I had you passed on. My brother, why like this? You are a champion. And a true Guerrilla champion and a true Guerrilla son. My brother, you will not be around. But we will always remember you. As now the word late. Late Sam, late will be late before your name. We always talked about this when other bodies came into this parliament and we said late. As so many of us standing here, one day our name will be, we will have that word late beside our name. It's sad to see this, my brother. My brother, I will, and most of us in the Pangu camp, when we see your son, confidence will, remember, will remind us of you. There are many things we talk together. Unfortunately, you have left us too early. Only our Heavenly Father knows why. He has taken you away like this at this time at a very powerful country. Me blah blah stop with you, family blah you. And especially your son, Confidence, who was watching. Every time we, we call his name, we will remember this day. Because brother, I remember you and me was sitting beside the pool at Laguna. You kept sitting glass of wine and give me a drink. Our son will be called confidence. And you mean what you said. Brother, thank you. May God bless your soul. We will miss you, sadly. Thank you, people of Guelala. Thank you, Mamana. Family Blam. The Honorable Minister for Defense. On behalf of my people, Tambula Villa. Mila Tosorino, Brother Blumina. I can't believe it comes to me. My people of Tambulavi, my family, it's like where I have come down to them, brother. I miss you. Me tell you, heart will be straight. You, brother, will be. God, why do you allow this now? That. But I trust you, God. You are the final call. You salary money me. 
come Lord's playground, which is dead. Now you say sin back, which is dead. And the final call is God. God, we trust in you. You look at the job long. Let brother blow me will jump. He has a big heart with a small size. I'm got big heart to save him Gulala and then as well as the country. Why God ever kiss him this my life land back? But me appeal of God. That's all God. I believe you are the final call. Same as we will all get the leaders table here. One day God you will call us. We will come to the same place. I believe in God. But long let William Sabem stop law. Now front blow me long. The honorable house. Mila Kapi long all the members. Leadership is all about respect one another. It's not opposition, it's not government. One black and half black money may die. By eating him or some opposition or government. And one black man where I'm stopping there, you may all get out. Opposition or government, he doesn't care. All the members of this parliament, we must be replacing this man. You may send it to the people, you may. Or some late bill of something we pass on. You may must have us, brothers. Look forward to the country. You mean us all gonna look forward to a country where William Sams are working. Thank you, brother. One in middle of sit down, middle of stop story. We go by and we missing you straight. One day, time Jesus come back, I'll meet you up there. First, brother, may us all rest in peace. Thank you. The Honorable Minister for Environment. I too would like to join other colleague leaders to pay our tribute to this great leader. And I know that in the chamber with me are other colleague leaders from the Chimbu province. So we collectively pay our tribute to this man who had become, in fact, one of the icons of Papua New Guinea's politics. Mr. Deputy Speaker, a mother had lost his dear son, who had reared him in the mountainous terrain of Goilala. A beautiful wife had lost a husband, whom together had fathered children, and of course, their children had lost, who is their idol and icon, their own father, are dead. Mr. Deputy Speaker, the late Honorable Member and Minister had a long association with us, the Chimbus. And it, was, it is fittingly that he and I call each other Sigoy, not only on the floor of Parliament, everywhere else and including in Cabinet. He had a lot of friends who were Chimbus at the University of Technology where other Chimbus went there to study in the same field, in the field of civil engineering. But also in some part of his working life before he got formally engaged in the department works and also later in national parliament, he also worked with Chimbu entrepreneurs and the dev, and that his contributions will be remembered. Mr. Deputy Speaker, it is difficult to accept what is a factual reality until at such times we come to realize that we have lost someone. But it is more fitting and it is proper that his legacy must live on. And I know that one of the things that he said when he became the Minister for Commerce, he said, hey, Sigoy, I realize that you have done some work in commerce that which must be supported. And I said, well, you know, what in particular? 
And he told me, he said, look, we talk about economic recovery and other agendas that we try to drive. But one of the things I realized that which you have driven is how we can recover and how we can basically recover the, you know, the economy of this country to agriculture and using the cooperative model. And that struck me. And so I would like to basically propose that, you know, in times like this, some of the good efforts and visions that he has driven, he has provided, because I know him was a leader who had never ever believed in rhetorics. Rhetorics was never part of him because he called a spade a spade. So it is important that in such situations and circumstances, we basically have got to now realize that, what, that there is a gap and we must fill in those gaps. Five days before he went to Dubai, I met him in Bougainville. He was there two days earlier than me. And I basically went there to go to Torokina to see, to find out what was happening to those dead fish and what was causing them. But when he was there, he was actually hard in work, at work. And that he left no stone unturned because he wanted to see what he would want to be driven as a government. And he lived and he worked to, his, to the best of his abilities. So, Mr. Deputy Speaker, with these few remarks, and I know that on behalf of all the Simbu community, both in the Simbu province, the provincial government of Chimbu and the people of Chimbu and his, and his professional colleagues from Chimbu, we would like to convey our deepest condolences to the, to the family of the late William Sam, who in fact is a hero. Thank you. The Honorable Member for North Bougainville. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Me too, me like to him. All not a long line. Long pain tribute. <coughs> we go long late. Honorable William Sun. He is truly a man of integrity. He is truly a great leader. Long sabe long end. It took a while. That's all me been surprised. He had a conference in Malaysia and he invited me and I accompanied him to Malaysia for that conference. What a man. I think all get out on our plot too. Only look, look, now only think, think. When a man, you kiss him. But as a leader, <clears throat> as a great leader, he chooses. And humility is one of those. And simplicity is one of, one of those things that happen. In a long time, I'm also Prime Minister, I talk, talk, talk. The invitation was given to him to come and accompany me. Long, give him all our machineries, long road. And maybe accept him, this play invitation. He gave his time just to come to North Voganville. Accompanied by him, were the Vice Minister for Planning, Honorable Kobe Bomario, and also the Minister for Civil Aviation, Honorable Walter Schnobel, 
only accompany me. And what came at the time? And time and we been talk talk. And we been talk. Me have a mass. Long give him all of people, long not bogenville. All these plan machineries. That's all. All of people belong me, long wellala. But only kissing blessings. Now this plan may come up true. All of the all line belong me, long not bogenville. At that time, only appreciate him through this plan. Because the man himself, he gave that to the people of North Bougainville. Long make sure all of the goodness he shall come up and may come up through affecting Bougainville. Time he may be minister of long Bougainville affairs, this was great opportunity. I'm all the same. Minister, long communication, and me talk penis. And me been big plus something long Bougainville. Join him all the other people again. Now give him all this opportunity to recognize and see their belongings and where they can be. Long all this plus all the time. And me been making big plus work. Long make him all this plus something. So, late Honorable William Sam, me have a mass, and me talk thank you long you. Long you been making all or something, long join him all the people from Bougainville. Long give him all this opportunity, long only got good plus choice, long all yet. Thank you. You make him people a walk. On behalf of my family, we like give him sincere condolence. He go along late. He go along all of family, especially long mama. Long late. Honorable William Sam, long immediate family, long all the people belong Guelala, long Pangu Party, now long all the people belong Central. Me give him this condolence message. He go long Yupla Olgeta, long Gutla leader, long brother. Honorable late William Sam. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. The Honorable Member for Ijidibat Tari. Thank you, uh, Mr. Speaker. Um, myself, uh, like all the other leaders, we also would like to convey our message. Um, on behalf of the people of Ijivitari, on behalf of my family, I'd like to convey our deepest sympathy, our deepest sorrow, and our deepest condolences to the family of late William Sam, his people of Guelala, people of Central, and the passing of a great leader. The most that will be, the most of the families that will be had is the wife and the children. The world will continue, people will move on in life, the world moves on in life. But for the wife and the children, I feel for them today. They're the ones that will carry this pain for the rest of their lives. And I feel very saddened for his children who are still very young, 
who will grow up without a father and a role model figure in the family. And for his mom who's here today, my biggest and greatest sympathy to her. <coughs> when you talk to your mom and your dad, quite often they will tell you that it's better they go first before their children. But here, the mom is still alive. The mother's heart is broken, and my heart is broken for her and, her, and his wife and his children. While all the brothers and leaders were sharing in the house today, there was a story that was told to me that kept resonating in my mind, and I want to share it here. Just to bring you to a picture of this great leader of ours, the late Honorable William Sam. In, in U.S., they will, normally they have a special force that they recruit from within the Army itself, within the Air Force, within the Marine Navy. They recruit to take part, in, to train up for, to join the special forces. And on one particular recruitment period or time, they decided to segregate the group that they were selecting. So they put all the tall guys in one group. They put all the, uh, the longer seven in one, one group. They put all the stronger guys in one group. And in one particular group, they put the short guys. And every time the commander gave them a task, many of these groups failed. But this group made up of these short people always completed their tasks. Sometimes they finished second, third, but most times they were finishing first. They threw them into the ocean, they were the first to come up. They dropped them in the middle of the jungle, they were the first to come out. Whatever task that they gave the group, groups, this group that was made up of these short guys were always determined to do well. They always wanted to make sure that they overcame their task. And as we were sharing here, it just showed a good example of this leader. That it did not matter what you gave him, but he always set out to make sure that he completed that task. That's how big his heart was. That's how great a giant man he was. He made up for his height by ensuring that whatever was given to him, he completed with diligence and he completed to the fullest. That's what we are going to miss in this parliament and going into the future. A leader like him, who was determined to make sure that did not matter the task that was given to him, did not matter the ministry that was given to him, he was always determined to do his best to make sure that the right results and the great results were delivered to not only the government but to this country. The first time I knew this leader, a type of person he was, was when I became a member of parliament. And most of us who were new who came in, we also had sentiments of negative sentiments towards some of us. And on my social uh, page, people were attacking me, you know, as a new member of parliament, and they were attacking me. And he was one MP that would come to my defense immediately. And he would encourage the people to give me an opportunity. Say, don't throw stones, don't throw mud at him. I'm just coming now to lose him and walk. He was one guy that stood up for me. And I will miss that from him. When my son was selected to go to university, he was the first guy from all our political leaders to respond and congratulate my son. And when he passed away, my son forwarded me that message that he had sent to him, saying that, Dad, I remember this leader. Please convey my deepest sympathies to his family. A great leader Papua New Guinea has lost today. And I stand with all the leaders, Salim Sori Blomi Tugolo, Prime Minister, one time Pangu Party leaders, one time Pangu Party executives, for losing a stalwart leader, a strong pillar of Pangu. And I know when I'm something, I mean, 
nous sommes en train de faire, 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 nous uh, thank you, uh, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, me, Sanab Maki Motu Blonduku, Lo, so I'm last respect, Blom, me, Lo, brother and a colleague, me. Tak perlu sulung saya mana, pada minat saya persen bayu ko, but the level of this plan moon, time body boleh ibin kam, lo Dubai na Singapore, this last day amitlah sepas was fly in lonuku from Wewek to Chopa, lo ibai ko opening loop la bridge na, workshop building blow. Nuku, all people blow nuku. All no savvy lo you. All savvy so you member blow koela la. Now for the first time, Mr. Speaker, this la name koela la. I'm come a big blow lo district blow blow nuku. Through the connection to politics, Mr. Speaker, we spent five years together in Parliament. That's more than four years at the university, of, at any university. So we've grown bondage and friendship, and and through our relationship in Parliament, we begin to bond Papua New Guinea because we represent our electorates, 89 districts, and now plus seven, and then um, our provinces and regional Bougainville together. We spent five years in one term. And those that come back again, second term, third term, and fourth term, you've just gone almost like a big and a, a very long bondage in a family. And Mr. Speaker, you may talk to that, you may talk to also inside of Bell, you may also, we've, we've been a family. And through these members of parliament as a family, we also bring the whole of Papua New Guinea, the greater Papua New Guinea, as a family through our democratic system, I mean, through our parliamentary system that we have adopted through the Westminster system. And I'd like to acknowledge this parliamentary system that we have adopted, that through this system, we've been representing our people. And we begin to know Papua New Guinea through the representation of members of parliament. Guaylala may not have been popular before. Because time people talk talk long, minister law, Bougainville Affairs, the Minister of Law, Transport, the Minister of Law, Commerce, and Poison, the name of all. But the time you talk to the speaker, the time you talk to the speaker, the name of the electorate. The name of the electorate. The name of the electorate. So the time you talk to the speaker, the call him Honorable William Sayin, the call him M. Long. I am no name, no can say call him mem, or member belong to Ilala. No sign up, no talk talk. So, what me like talk, I'm all same. In this very short time, Brother William Sam, Minister, Honorable Minister, has raised the profile of Ilala of, of, of from very, you know, not so much popular in the country, Within the last three years or so, has, 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 has raised the profile of Goelala up to a level of whole of entire bread of Papua New Guinea that has now, for the first time, known, known, known Goelala. And one kind of say, all, all motor dealers, all, all vehicle motor dealers, blow me. Tangwan blow nubla brand blow. Kari kama. Maybe this la motor dealer, uh, uh, motor, motor vehicle dealer. 
They have not been popular before. But as soon as the new brand of vehicle or motor vehicle comes out, and be, it becomes popular and people buy it and they try to say, oh, where, where did you buy it from? Oh, me think of PNG Motors, you know, so selling a good car, but now I'm selling a good car, so I'm going to have PNG Motors. It's like us representing, representing our people here. When, we, when our people of our respective electorates vote a good leader, that leader carries the name of the electorate and expounds and begins to change the maybe, maybe the name that that electorate has not been known for for, the, for some time becomes so popular. And I see our brother, late Honorable Minister William Sam, has come out of Goelala and lifted the profile of Goelala to add add to the good name of Central Province. And Mibla, I had a privilege to travel <clears throat> with you to uh, Tapini and then Colonel Arba location came on the Prime Minister and Mibla go. And to lo beg him dinner, you have been going to have any more. He saw your appreciation and looks out, so you go to have any more. Straightening from the project long. Wolf blow Mibla up. Lo back him slow na lo we back we pla go long, so him slow lo go back lo look him go la la. Na mi pla go lo go la la pla sa all sem. Go la is known for like so close to Port Mosby and yet so far away. And I believe life we go, but this land by change is now. So point, Mr. Speaker, me like talk when them slow look sa all lo sorry lo you me lose him brother go. M all sem. The rest of our people of Papua New Guinea should realize that the election is coming. When the election comes, that is the time for you to reflect back on who is going to represent you in parliament. And for Gorilla, late Honorable William Sam has raised the standard of the level of leadership of Gorilla up to a level that now the people of Gorilla in the come next election, we'll now know what a real leader and a representative of parliament is going to be. And that's something that will now be up there as a standard of measurement for them to, look, to see what they can look for as, as they look forward to, to that. So on behalf of my people, I am long honoring you, brother. by you opening one blood building. This is a building and one blood latest modern workshop, all steel, and it's, uh, it has uh, five bedrooms inside. It has office inside for complete workshop, believe me. Based on the design, we're supposed to open him, so because you know, now, now, we apply this side, we put him name long, you. Now this is a building, now you go. Now time, all the line, you go, one of them, you go, 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 you through through and making people blog Allah in the most remotest part of Sipik. So thank you very much again for the life that we have shared together. Thank you, Prime Minister, and thank you, uh, the members of the uh, government and also in, in the House for all the support that you've given to us, and also to recognize him and to pay respect for our very great leader. May your rest, uh, may your soul in re, uh, rest in internal peace with the Lord. Thank you. Honorable Minister Blong, Forestry. Thank you, Speaker. Me to me, Snap Law. Join him on Snap Law Leaders Law. Give him or extend him this blood. Condorance. Talk sorry, Blong, me play go law. Late William Sam. Me make a mouse blow, people blow me law, telephoning. Talafomin, I'm your Sam Goilala. Me come lo, look sawe lo, William Sam lo, 2016 time, I'm going to buy election. Lo, school days, long and lo, so very go to university. I'm grow up one them all boys, all line, lo, telefomin. Now time I'm going to buy election, only call him in at all right. 
leader, you go support him, Mr. Man, because I'm talking by law, by election. So we bring him to the leader in now. We think big law man, but we have look short law man. And I'm waiting, Mr. Man, we have not to write. Remember me, man, tell him I'm to him. Some law whistle now, some law character, some law passing him telephone in, because I'm a big law one, I'm all boys from me. Me play support him, me support him. Now I'm going to relax him. I'm talk me by win. I'm confident. It's a few months ago, finish time me win, now come. Time me start the PNC party, now me talk, you come to the PNC party, now I'm talk no that. Me play start with the same. Honorable late William Sam is not a nonsense guy. I mean, uh, one black kind of nonsense guy. What in royalty I'm got to you, he stays with you. And he has been with Sam. Come, come, in Naplo, 2019, time he play <coughs> government of PNC. Now come, this display time to him. Brooklo Pangu na kam. Em lo sim sem lo splade. Tak. Na every one plus strong la man usen kali seven plus man kam. Me plus PNC two me plus kam two na me plus four me plus gabman na me plus stop me plus. What the prime minister honourable James Marabe now prime minister me plus lo poveni ini. Me plus all Pangu, all brothers blongen me plus all strong plus all brother blongen by Sally Misiman. Now in parliamentary wing, I said to me, Lady Mipla Lopango, Maggie Mouslong, parliamentarians, <coughs> Lopango party. Now I said, I have a lot of parliamentarians, I have a prime minister, deputy party leader, and executives. I'm this plum man. Talk talk and make him, I'm talk, you see, head not talk talk. I'm, I'm by putting you off straight. Because he wants you to use your head to talk. So I'm not like you talk talk plenty. Straightforward. Plenty time it's not work for one time because it's not come to a place where people are boost now. Very isolated, remote. Now plenty time it's not work for one time. Now leadership long and I'm, I'm, I'm strong like Thomas. Soup long and too. I'm leading one but I'm say travel suit to Thomas and Lucy. All man thinks you by lyric now like worrying about you, I'm still long play yet. Lopinim is black and you know, easy Lopinim. And by taking time, Lopinim. All people block, go lala, by missing this plus strong black leader. Me, Maki Mouse, plong all schoolmates, plong in. All buddies, plong in. Now all people block me, lo telephone me. Time me to last, I start one them. Mix you have a telephone in now. We got Sheets W Community Health Worker Training College a lot of telephone in. I have a look at him and I have to say, 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 you, yeah, a long way, man. I just have to say, I have to say, I have to say, all the way from Guerrero to telephone in. I have to say, I have to say, I have to say, I have to say, Call the telephone in our school, Lord display here, but only finish. Lord display school. Now all the campus are going there. Now work like Aussie, like going there. All eight post. Me make a mouse plong all people plong me like telephone in. All schoolmates plong in. All I do say them is to want them all. Those school coming up now. Me play. All family plong me too. Me play. Can we talk sorry plong me play? How long? Mama said them is still live yet. Brother belong in. All Pikini belong in. Mary belong in. All people belong in. All chiefs. May so rest in peace. Thank you. Honorable Minister. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, I would also like to pay 
tribute to my colleague, uh, minister and friend. Uh, and that's on behalf of my people of uh, Kaguerave. We also feel the same as well. It's a great loss for the country and for everyone here. Uh, to the family of late uh, William Samp, especially the mom, the wife, the children, his brothers and sisters and uh, families, other family members, and his uh, beloved people of Goilela. I got to know uh, late William Samp, uh, as a first time MP, we've been here for the last five years. But I got to know him much better when I became the Minister of Parliament. And I got to, uh, each time I'm here, I think already you can see that um, he normally sits left to me, and today he's not here, starting this parliament. Only a uh, flower has been here, and and the guys we sit here, we crack a lot of jokes with him, and he's very humble, he's very funny at times as well. Now, In fact, we are missing him. Yeah. A lot of time when the session is going on, parliament session is going on, we are, he is always coming and touching my shoulders and say, you know, making fun with me, this, that, and different topics. And when he's not here, I'm already missing him as well. So I guess my other colleagues are missing him the same as well. But I like to <clears throat> describe him with one or few words only. I think it's a very brave and very fearless leader, I would say. Uh, fearless and brave in the sense that uh, when we attend uh, government caucus meetings or when you're in the NEC meetings, anything that's not right, and when the other uh, ministers are scared to speak, He's the only one who has the guts to speak, and he'll say it straight. Very honest person I've seen, and very brave as well. So, some of the times was some things are not right, but you look more simple by the table and tasole, and just la sopla man goi lele. And everything that he does is very honest, and that's for the best interest of the country. That's what I've seen him. So, we would certainly be missing him a lot. Yeah, and I must say that the untimely death of the late William Samb in uh, Dubai was a great loss, it was a uh, tragic loss and a uh, great loss for the people of Buela and the country as a well. whole. The Guayla is not an easy electorate to represent. It's a very mountainous and a tough region in terms of um, planning and delivering seven. The Gorilla people, on top of that, they suffer from a stigma. Yeah. <laughs> they suffer from a, a stigma, you could say, the Gorilla people. A bad sort of reputation and associated with the name of the over the years, which is far from the reality. And Mr. Samp has worked very hard, not just to bring development and services to his people, but to change that perception, to remove that Goelela stigma. In a very short time, he has traveled thousands of miles just for the people of Goyala. Mr. Speaker, the Prime Minister, Honorable James Marabe would agree with me that the late Sam was one of the architects of the change of this government in May 2019. He played a key role in the rise of Pangu Party from near obscurity to the leading coalition in government today with close to 40 MPs. The late Sam was instrumental in helping the Prime Minister formulate some of the key policies of the Marave government, Marave Basel government, that is saving economic growth and transforming the transport sector in our country. Mr. Speaker, Mr. 
late Sam has left us suddenly while a lot remains to be delivered and to be achieved for our people. We are devastated by the loss of such highly talented person, a leader with energy and vision, a patriotic who was so focused on uplifting the welfare of his Gorilla people and our nation. As we bid farewell on this floor, we must commit to ensure that his dream, his fight for a better life for his people of Goila is honored by fulfilling and completing the project that he has already started. Go on too soon, my brother, late William Samp. May his cell rest in eternal peace. Thank you. The Honourable Minister for Mining. Thank you, Speaker. Me too, like talking talk sorry, blow me long. Maki mouse blow people blow canon too. Family blow me. Uh, Eastern Highlands. Me like share him this like condolence blow me go long. Late family blow. Uh, late uh, Minister William Shemp, you all family blogging, Mama blogging, Mary Piccinini blogging. This afternoon, you may all get a member, one work blogging, ministers, governors. Me play talk talk about relationship, na associations where me play got blogging. In many different uh, encounters, whether it is at a professional front or at a social front, we have a relationship to mention and talk about it, especially when, we, when our loved one has gone. This afternoon, before us, <coughs> we have the late minister. Our good Lord has given a special worth at his tears. We only say this especially when we are happy or when we are in sorrow. We are given life by God to do what we have to do. Among many leaders, we have been given opportunity we are on a mission. The mission is to save the people of Papua New Guinea in this house. Yeah. I have an opportunity, and I wish to take this uh, opportunity, Mr. Speaker, to thank the former member for Yalibu Pangia, who has given me an opportunity to sit with a late member in his cabinet. He's a very patriotic person. He's a man after the heart, people's heart. So again, indeed, I was given another opportunity by Pangu Party, the Prime Minister of the current government, to also enjoy another session or another benefit of sitting with him in the cabinet. He's a real Papua New Guinean to discharge his duties diligently. The man before us, you have done well for your people. You have indeed done well for the people of Goilala, to the people of Central Province. I, for one, I have a personal relationship with you. My personal relationship with you, we call each other PP, private property. Our personal relationship has migrated and translated into moral obligations. 
at a time of the political impasse. When you ask me, I listen to nobody. I had you, I listened to you and I followed you because of that relationship that I have with you. Thank you, my late colleague. If you were a party to play and have me retain my position as the minister for mining in the current government, irrespective of the fact that I'm the lone member of PPP, I thank you on behalf of the people of Eastern Islands, my family members, and Kanantu. Eastern Islanders are known for securing social ministries. But you have enlightened the people of Eastern Highlands with an economic portfolio. My colleague, I take my cap off for you. Thank you, rest in peace, my good brother. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Your Minister for Energy. <coughs> thank you, Mr. Speaker. We send up long time now. Thank you, Lord, give us the time, Lord. At least uh, take part, Lord. Join him here now. Convey my condolences, Lord, me. Lord, late leader. We like start him talk talk close side. How uh, Pangu? After the 2017 general election, may play a whole camp in the Eastern Highlands. At that time, current Deputy Prime Minister, the Pangu Party, only to come to the Eastern Highlands, now to come like all him house man here. The power of the place where the place is up, you will come. So, Pangu Party, one time late uh, brother, Honorable William Sam, I need the leader of the Pangu Party, all the come Eastern Highlands. The last time, East Eastern Highlands, we got eight pla open members, but all two, only got houseman blong all. So, all go, go houseman blong all. Me yet, Member Blo Lufa, now Member Blo Karamui, that party will be talking about stuff. So story Blo Pangu party, Blo forming government name start Blo Eastern Highlands. Blo this la hap, time you me move, round Blo go Blo camp to camp, as usual, Blo time Blo forming government. This la late brother William Sam, and passing Blo Ngai Mosem Plantiol, former speaker of Zetok Penis, is very humble. When somebody is already too humble, how can you go down that low because he has reached the threshold of humbleness? And Ms. Savalu rubbing shoulder blowing with the Mogata. Our leaders, Tommy Blow around the camp, the former government, inside the Isla, is our person, so you may, that's the core team where you may stop one time. He became also one black in jail or one black in butter where me. Can hold me plot together. You know, because Lord one block ain't something or wouldn't, but because Lord is the conscience you got, this is the principle you may believe long in. Me play stop. Or as the saying goes, like minded people stick together. We stayed on and the people that we formed that group in in Goroka, we like call him name Lord's the team. Honorable Marepe Kavore, Honorable Dr. Kobe, Honorable Sam Basil, Honorable Jeffrey Kama, Honorable Rainbow Paita, Honorable Kennedy Wenge, Honorable Connie Iguan, late Thomas Pelika, Time to go semi pay respect, Blomi, now former members, we only stop in the Disley Temple of Parliament, not former, sorry. Uh, all seven members of the Parliament, all Lucy Mipla, me pay respect, Blomi, all two. Honorable Chris Nangoy, Honorable Lekwa Gure, Honorable Governor Agarobe, the Honorable John Rosso, the Honorable Governor Blomorobe. I'm this little team, we've been start, Tim Houseman, Lo Eastern Islands. Lo this last, we must talk, pay respect, and talk thank you. Lo this opportunity, 
When Pangu Party come to Eastern Highlands, let me start him this dream and love him government. So, making people of the Eastern Highlands, people of the Lokapa, me talk sorry. Laos cry, custom passing, me come, okay, little contribution, blow me. I must have little club passing, brother, you missed up. But leadership, blow you. I'm, you line him, you plan something. Chamber something, when me line him long in, blow you, brother. I'm, I must have you man, blow talk straight, you lead up, blow talk straight. One of something you believe long and principle blow you am important. What you say is your honor. You know man blow talk, the front and the backside you round him go and I make another blow talk. I'm also like a person blow you, I'm holding this little team. When we play stop. Strong. Time blow. With respect to the former prime minister, time blow for me nupla. Vote of no confidence, no for him for me nupla government. Some blow blow me play behind him uh, late. Uh, sorry, yeah. Uh, Former finance minister and now current prime minister of Lomipla. Mipla goes, stop one time, man. And then, our brother, you came with our brothers from Pango. You come now, you know, wasting time. You come to talk, you. James Marabe, you come lead up Lomipla. And from there, you are the little general. You make sure you check in Mipla. Mipla, stop also on them. We play stop good or we play stop also on them. Because you yet. Background player, you're some civil engineer. There's a lot to come into play. You're men on the ground holding the troops together. There is sad man in Chelo, you get plenty of man who missed up. All him just let team together, but Chelo Desla, a man who stop, no make him all money come up or some. Leader man or the crown maker is you, a lead brother, one of them. You start him now, you hold him in black hand, and now you missed up. You know, the one plus something, but the problem is the best leadership and the best cabin. The same with people blow me black. Now me black come already, the bump black go, the people begin the second mandate. Now it would have been proper that you by stop now, at least look him. Come on, you start him the full of parliament. How about going to come back after the national general election, whether by you form your government, can or not? But God, you got plan on the one one. Now me call him you. And I'm just like me, take him hard, blow me off, now me pay him respect. The Mary Piginini, the late brother, DDA members, or family, blow. Honorable uh, William Sam, passing, blow you. And by stop one time, Mibla, forever. May you rest in peace. Thank you, brother. Leader of the government business. Mr. Speaker, me join him, all uh, colleagues, me, me, the rest of law. Lo bungi mouse na at the sore long express him. Lost plot the leader, comrade, blame me, the rest of law. Honorable house. Before me, Give him talk sorry, but me talk thank you long. Ogatar the leaders, we said he been express him bell sorry in words, um, contribution throughout the week, any form of assistance lo saw him. Sorry long, but comrade blame me. Now in words and kind that we have said here in this floor, me talk thank you through. Uh, opposition leader, thank you. Want them Arab leaders long opposition government. Uh, Were you plus up? Uh, man, we represent him. PNC Party Tuna, Member Blongesala, thank you for those very kind words as we gather to um, celebrate a sort of talk sorry. Long is heavy where you may find him. Not now today. Mr. Speaker, I think um, most words have been said about this great gentleman. Um, and just sitting here <clears throat> looking at uh, all our brothers where you may share him flow with them. Uh, where you may give him a word, it must be a feeling for the family. And members of parliament will only appreciate this when I say it, that most times, most people don't appreciate and recognize us, even in our own homes of what we do. It must be a feeling for the family and the kids and the wife to sit here and hear those wonderful words where you may talk about this great man where leader where you may share him with them. And most times they don't understand the sacrifices we make as leaders as members of parliament, as governors, as ministers, the time we spent. And sometimes, most times, we are not at home. Where are we? These are the stories that we are accumulating in this floor. Let me talk 
he was here, he was there, he was launching this project, he came here, he came to give me machines here, he was in this house and plenty of time, Mary Pini talk, hey, money go away. And this kind of time, they appreciate it. No, Papa been go and look him. Anmak mem go sem, mem go sem, ebin kamo sem. Country begins to appreciate leaders only when they pass away. And I think it's uh, at the height of his political career. No family comes in and no sem, they meet making more slagut no words there. I really appreciate. And as a friend who shared the bench with him, me like to thank you, Lee Miogata. The opposition members, government members, me to big, thank you, true. When they say big things come in small packages, this was the man. When they say big things come in small packages, he was someone who was, even for someone so small, and listening to speakers talk about the way um, uh, interact with the people leaders, about with ministers and different walks of life. For a guy so small, he left a space so big. That's the kind of person he was. Now, me like talk. Thank you, Lord, for the words you make him and his brothers on this floor. Few stories, just one or two stories, may I make him. <coughs> Mr. Speaker, may I talk thank you, Lord, Deputy Prime Minister. Uh, his transition into politics and him becoming member was, uh, in a way, greatly contributed by uh, Deputy Prime Minister. Then he was leader for Pangu Party. Time to plus up on them, then win pennies. People like me join the queue. Make up with Samuel Mangi, we join him party. The line in politics, people like making politics so. You look at rugby man, you must have on the rugby man. You look at one man, mechanic, you must have close to the mechanic man. I wanted to be a leader and a politician, so maybe I need to play around. And it was a great team. And then the rest of the leaders kept coming and the group started growing bigger. Uh, Deputy Prime Minister, me talk, thank you, Lou. Lou, you support him. Brother, believe me, Lou, make him become a member of by election. Now, suppose you had you talk, Pinis. Suppose some people cross his stop, me play to talk, sorry. Lou, time, brother, I'm sleep, Lou, me let talk, sorry, Lou. Deputy Prime Minister, suppose some play. Anyway, me na I want them all brother blue into the Pangu Party. Suppose he come up him na. Down in Bell Blue, kind of same time you send up me make him talk sorry. Me plan to make him talk sorry. But same you leader blue play. Former leader where you stop, you see me play come. Na now you na Prime Minister. Former leader na current leader into the Pangu Olim government na Siran me plan almost true. Lord is not true. Me talk thank you to you. Arpa leader, so me plan join him too. Me talk thank you, Mr. Speaker. Time me plan. Uh, Honorable William Samson, sit down here. All the time, time you give him notice or some late member he died and I made him up in silence long. So I'm sorry. One of the time, former member of the Mill of Insaf and he died. I think last year. Now name blame him, come on top. Not write him. Honorable late, Honorable Alfred Pogo, member of Insaf and. Let me show him, let me talk, bro. Mix him pen and me cancel him out, name the leader and me write him name blame me. Late Honorable Rainbow Paita. Bro, me talk. One day, you will not miss it. One day you will still be body blue by come the floor. One day, whether it's this parliament or next or whenever, all of us on this floor will one day come like this in a box. As mighty we are, as ministers or members or governors or prime ministers or former prime ministers, one day we will come in a small box like this. Look him, bro. Now name the former member stuff. Next time it could be me. MK Rabnam, squeeze paper and to game one cow call ting ting blue. Kiss him go. And somehow the death came. So as much as, you know, some of us members, we think that we are untouchable. We are, even death, when it comes to us, we cannot escape, Mr. Speaker. And I really appreciate um, all the members when we paid respect. As we sit here, one time, <coughs> we too will become like this, time become the floor. <coughs> it's just a matter of time. No one will escape this uh, destiny where you make it. Mr. Speaker, we appreciate him through. Me like to thank you, Lord Pangu Party, through long Prime Minister, Lord, give him good blood respect through long. Uh, one plan leader who set up strong through the former Mr. Like government. Me can think him time, he plan the former government. Uh, Prime Minister want them team long, all go sit down. Now, Honorable William Sam want them, he plan team long, Pangu Party, he come and sit long. One plan room. Now, plenty of money in the survey, who should become a Prime Minister? In the minds of people, they were thinking few people will become Prime Minister. This man, very direct. And sometimes his directness was very painful. He will tell you things of straight on the point. I'm coming to him talk. Forget everything I'm talk. James Marape, you tarry, me golala, me nominate him, you become a prime minister. This was the guy who was very direct. Sometimes great people like this don't become prime ministers, but they make prime ministers. They contribute to how governments are formed. And we respect those contributions that this type of make men. Our, our man will make him Muslim. So, Mr. Speaker, may I talk? 
Thank you, long brother, late brother. He came to my district more than 11 times. Nem so dog, I'm shadow member of Finza Fen. I don't know if other districts can come more or not, but to me, I think I'm one side leading. He came 11 times. Most of the time, we just all day. I'm come to way. Online below, go lela make him head pen so make him malololo Finza Fen past him. So me probably really appreciate him on behalf of myself, my family, my people of Finza Fen, Miss Salim, big talk sorry. Lower the family members, long him people of Guelala. And my closing remark, Mr. Speaker, me like to go same. If someone in this house has not loved Goelala so much, this guy now had made everyone love Goelala to a point where everyone wants to go and see what is Goelala. He elevated the position of Goelala leadership to a next level, as everyone has stated. So I want them to let me talk sorry through the whole family. Welcome, sit on the witness him. Mary, want the mama, Carlos, uh, all beginning to sit down, Manuela, and Jonathan, the confidence. May big man give him almost the peace you plow where you plug in. Kiss him time, strong him you play it, lo go through there's a time where God he kiss him, give him then kiss him back. Mr. Speaker, I want them Islam. God he can bless him in your God. Thank you too. The question is that the condolence motion moved by the Prime Minister be agreed to. Would those in favor say aye? Aye. Those against say no. The ayes have it. As a mark of respect to the memory of the late honorable gentleman, I invite all honorable members to rise in their places. I thank the Parliament. Sergeant at Arms, also in the Paul Barris. Thank you. 
leader of government business. Mr. Speaker, I talk thank you, Lo Yumi. Minister Misla, a program long game respect, long late leader. A uh, few uh, announcements long Mikla from government business. One, uh, I think office long Prime Minister organize him on the medical team to be on standby today uh, for anyone who wishes to do any medical checkup and um, will stand by today. Uh, before we go for more stressing issues to do with elections and the electoral duties and the provincial duties, the team is here. Whoever wishes to do a quick uh, medical examination and um, free and available through long uh, office from Prime Minister in partnership with them, office from Speaker. So this is the talk we give him. Also, on the note, me talk thank you, long government. A um, couple of rounds of DSIP funds that have been dispersed and made available through long Mitlal. Members on both sides of the house. So, me talk uh, thank you, long government. This is again time, government, so all in back, and I try to play in politics, the kind of thing, but me talk thank you, long Prime Minister, Treasurer, but the Marple leaders were fortunate enough to talk no right. Politics aside, we come together on issues like this. Uh, let's go forward as a team going forward into elections. So. Politics is different, work will man very different, so I think on both sides of the house, some funds have been dispersed, and we talk thank you, Prime Minister, and Treasurer, and Finance Minister, uh, for those uh, rounds of additional funding to go into those uh, DSIP programs you may cut. What then, Mr. Lord, Mr. Speaker, we talk thank you long. Members on that side, members on this side, uh, on that note, I wish to, Mr. Speaker, I move that uh, Parliament is rising, agenda to Tuesday, 19 April, 2022 at 2 o'clock p.m. Thank you. The question is that the motion be agreed to. Those in favor say aye. aye. Those against say no. The ayes have it. Leader of government business. But now change to Tuesday, 19th April, 2022 at 2 o'clock p.m. Thank you. The question is that the motion be agreed to. Those in favor say aye. aye. Those against say no. The ayes have it. Honorable members, I adjourn the parliament to Tuesday, 19 April 2022 at 2 o'clock p.m.